A very special thank you to the Patreon members for this video. This show was a Patreon exclusive series, but the members decided it was worth sharing. So big thanks to the members and enjoy the show. Okay, I push the button and oh, I got to take the lens cover off. And the little red light is on, which I guess means we're rolling. Um, hi, my name is Lieutenant Dan. I just got back from the mall. Um, had to take the bus because my van needs work. Um, but I went to the mall to buy this GoPro camera thing so that I could start recording for this blog. Er, vlog, I guess. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, but, uh, I'm willing to give it a shot, so I guess let's do this. So a little bit about me, I used to be in the army, that's why they call me Lieutenant Dan. Actually, when I was in the army, not a lot of people called me Lieutenant Dan. I was in the engineering corps and, uh, really good at blowing stuff up, so... Mostly people just called me Demolition Danny, which I always thought was a fun nickname. But I'm not in the army anymore. I'm back. I'm home. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to stick with what I know. So I bought this warehouse and started my own demolition company, which is what this vlog is about. Now, I know there's a sign there that says Lockell Teardown Services, but... That's actually not my company. My company is Lieutenant Dan Teardown Services. Uh, that sign belongs to the last guy who owned this warehouse. He also had a demolition company, but then he ran out of money and lost everything. So I bought the warehouse and now it's my turn. Uh, not to lose everything, of course, but um, yeah. So I just gotta replace that sign and get my name up there. You know, I, I thought about doing Demolition Danny's teardown services, but uh, it just didn't feel professional enough. So, Lieutenant Dan's it is. But yeah, the sign is wrong. I gotta fix that. So, come on in. I'll show you around. Uh, obviously, this used to be part of the rail line, but uh, don't worry. It's not anymore. No trains are gonna be coming through my front door. Hey, the van is back. I assume that means it's all fixed and working, right? Oh yeah, we are back in business, baby. All right. That's great, now we'll be able to go out on job sites, make some money. Oh, look at this, it says LTS. That, um, the van was actually part of the purchase of the warehouse, so that's still old branding. It should say LTD for Lieutenant Dan, but uh, yeah, I gotta fix that. Ah, uh, who left all this crap out here? Ah, uh, okay, hold on, let me clear a path. Yeah! So the thing about me is that I'm really strong, which helps a lot when you're in the demolition business, because you can just, yeah! Oh yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. So this is it. Like I said, it's just a warehouse, and I just moved in, so it's still pretty empty. Uh, there is a loft area up top that's actually where I'm going to be staying for a little while. And uh, I'm not going to show you up there right now because it's a mess. But yeah, it's a good space. Um, it's got good bones, as they say. And this is a car that I would like to restore and rebuild. Kind of a passion project. Um, the problem is fixing up cars takes money. And I don't have a lot of money right now. So it's going to be a long-term project right here. Oh, and my tools got delivered. That is great. A craftsman is only as good as his tools. So I had these shipped over. Got myself a sledgehammer. That's super important for demolition work. And also got a spray can for, you know, marking stuff. And then last but not least, got myself a fire extinguisher because safety first, right? Look at this. It's like snow. Okay, probably shouldn't do too much of that. I don't know if that's safe to inhale. Over here, this is like my little personal workout area. I got a treadmill, got some dumbbells. Oh, okay. I should not have been throwing all those boxes out there. Okay, uh, 
I promise, normally I can uh, pick those up no problem. But, uh, yeah, I, I am really strong. You gotta believe me. And this is my little home office area. So I got the TV over here. Why won't the TV turn on? What's going on? Computer? No, everything is off. The power must be out again. Gotta fix that. And right through this way is my bathroom. Pretty standard, I got a sink, got a mirror, got a toilet in here, so yeah, just your standard bathroom stuff. Oh! Oh, I did not mean to do that. I just broke my toilet. Ah, now I gotta fix that. No, no, you know what, I don't. Who needs a toilet? Honestly, who needs a toilet? I'm a man, I can just go outside. Speaking of outside, let's come out here and get our power turned back on. Over here in the shed, we got a, nope. Okay, tree, you're in the way. Get out of the way. All right, so this is the generator. And yep, gotta replace the fuse. There we go, power restored. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. There we go, everything's back on. The computer's on, the TV's on, the news is on. What's on the news? Oh yes, I see. You see that red line right there? That's the demolition industry. Green line is construction. Now, it looks like it's a really bad time to be in the demolition business, which I have just entered. But you know, the truth is, all of those new buildings are eventually going to have to get torn down. So I'm banking on the long term here, because someday the demolition industry is going to be on top. And I'm going to be on top, because I was here at the bottom. So. That's my theory, at least. Let's turn that off. Uh, fun fact, the TV came with the warehouse, and I have no idea where the remote is, so I can't actually change the channel or adjust the volume. I can only turn it on and off. But anyway, over here at the computer, let's see how business is going. Ooh, got a message from Tracy. Tracy's my assistant. She handles a lot of the paperwork. Tracy said, gas bill just dropped on the floor. Honestly, I'm not sure we can make it through the month. Are you getting any requests? At this point, we pretty much have to accept anything. Be creative. Hugs, mom. Ah, should have mentioned Tracy is also my mom. So, yeah. Another message from Tracy. This just came in. Sounds kind of fishy, but we need the money. You up for it? Good evening. My name is Gordon Wu, general manager at the Evertides Mall. I have a slight problem with an old building that's blocking our plans for a new wing, and I need someone to knock it over. Sounds like a perfect job for me. I need it gone by tomorrow, and I'd even be willing to pay more than the standard rate for some extra discretion, quick execution, and uncomfortable working hours. That still sounds like exactly the job for me. Would you be able to take care of it? I think yes. Evertides Mall is not even that far from here. Look at us, we got a job. What is that beeping? Oh, hold on, hold on. I think the camera is running out of batteries. So, uh, here's the plan. I'm gonna charge the camera, I'm gonna take this job, and I'll make sure to bring the camera with me tonight when I go to the job site. So, I'll see you guys there. How do I turn this? Okay, is this thing on? I think it's on. Okay. So, it's night now, and I have fully charged the camera, and we're here at our job site, at the mall. And I am supposed to tear down this old building. Wow, look at that old building. No wonder somebody wants to tear it down. That is ugly. Let's take a little look inside, see what we're dealing with. Oh, it is dark in here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Shouldn't be too much work. What are these walls made out of? Oh, it's just plaster walls. Oh, this is gonna be a piece of cake! Uh-oh, hold on. That is not plaster. That is a brick fireplace. And chimney. Well, that complicates things a little bit, because I can't break brick with my sledgehammer. So, we're gonna have to come up with some other creative way to get rid of that. Well, 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 speaking of creative ways, look what we have here. Explosive propane tanks. One of my favorite things in the world. So here's what we are gonna do. We're gonna take these bad boys. 
We're gonna set us up a little fire in this fireplace. But these logs aren't made out of wood. All right, and with the last propane tank out here, we're just gonna pick it up and chuck it in there. Ready? Fire in the hole! Woo! That was awesome. Oh, we got a little bit of a fire. Let's uh, go ahead and put that out. We don't want things getting out of control. Well, that did bust up the fireplace. Now, let's get to knocking these walls out. Okay, now we're left with just the four corners. So when we take those out, the whole thing should whoosh, come on down. And yet, it did not. I don't know how it's physically possible, but the whole second floor is being suspended by this chimney. That's a problem. We got any more tools out here or... Oh, 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 look what the construction crew left out for me. Isn't that nice of them? Here we go. This will work great. Oh, sorry, bush. Oh, sorry, fence. Oh, sorry, tree. Okay. This should be more than enough for that chimney. Charge! Oh, wow. Okay, the whole house fell on me. Maybe I can just squeeze out here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Bit of chimney left though, let's hit it again. Yes, it's working, awesome. Oh, well, look out. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna bust my way out here and pretend that nobody saw that. Nobody did see that. Look, it's totally hidden. No one will even know it's there. Anyway. And I can just take out the rest of this. This is the easy part. And just like that, my job is finished. Now they say that you're supposed to leave a job site better than how you got there, but when you're in the demolition business, the exact opposite is true. So we get to leave, we're done here. Let's get in the van. I'm gonna turn off this camera and I'll catch you guys later. Oh, that was my alarm clock and my bedside nightstand and lamp. Okay, that I need to stop sleeping with my sledgehammer. Wow, that was quite the way to wake up. I did not mean to do that, but oh, I was just sleeping so hard. It was such a late night. Wow. Uh, good morning, everyone. Looks like we got some new messages. Maybe Tracy got us a new job. Investigation. Oh, uh, what a morning. You're telling me, Tracy. Shouldn't have taken that job. I knew something wasn't right. That building was under cultural heritage protection and the demolition is now part of a criminal investigation? What? Miss Turdeman at the police just sent me this photo. It's my van. They must have caught you on a traffic camera heading towards the mall. The very last thing we need right now is an investigation. I tried sweet talking her and she thought she could get the case dropped, but asked for a favor in return. I don't know what she wants, but just do it. She'll email you directly. What? Oh my gosh. I'm on the news. What is this? Was this some kind of setup? What? Cultural heritage site destroyed? Oh no, Parissa Turdeman, a favor. Just so you know, I don't usually do this, but I'm stuck on a case and I feel like I should try something new. I've been investigating Lawrence Lee Jr. over tax evasion for months now, but he has so many friends in town that I can't get a warrant. How about you use your skills to borrow the computers over at Lee Chemicals so that I can finally access his customer registry and sort this mess out. If you do this for me, I'll make sure your little blunder will be forgiven. Hold up. Is this investigator asking me to go steal evidence for her? How is that better than destroying a protected building? But it's the only way out of this. I think I gotta do it. Okay, but first things first, I need a shower and I need some coffee. We'll pick up recording once I'm over at Lee Chemicals. Okay, everyone, I'm here at Lee Chemicals. This is the place that that investigator wants me to break into and steal the computers. 
And according to her, there is a computer in this building, and this building, and this building. And also according to her, there is no one working this evening. But until I am sure of that, I want to be so sneaky. Because as much as I don't want to go to prison for tearing down that historic building, I also don't want to go to prison for breaking into corporate offices. Let's see. I mean, it seems quiet enough. Lots of lights on, though. Ah, screw it. I'm just going for it. If anybody asks, I... Well, let's be honest. I'll just run away. So... Alright, the first computer is supposed to be in here. And the door is locked. Anybody watching? Ka-chow! There we go. There's the computer. Got it. All right. One down. Office. That's where the next computer's supposed to be. Oh, this door's locked too. Oh, and it's metal. What's the wall made out of? Brick. All right. Need another way in. Ooh, now that is one way to do it. We could just blow the whole door off. That might bring a little more attention than I want, though. Let's see if there's another way first. Hello? Anyone here? Uh, health inspector. More explosives. Ooh, it's so tempting. But look, there's a catwalk. Now the office is right here. But maybe, <gasps> ooh, maybe this'll work. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. Walking along the pipes, there's the computer. I think I can just, oh no. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, carefully this time. There we go. All right, let's get sneaky. We gotta find that computer. Is it in here? No. Oh, what's this? A painting. West Coast Marina, value $15. Hmm. Now, Inspector Turdeman did say that she wanted this to look like a generic break-in, not a targeted attack. So it only makes sense that I should take these so that no one gets suspicious. There's the computer. Perfect. And another valuable $40 this time. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, and another art piece. See, now they're just going to think this was an art heist. Let's go back out the way we came. Ooh, don't fall this time. All right. And the last computer is in here somewhere. Ooh, some tools, yes. And electric screwdriver, absolutely. Hey, I'm just covering my tracks here. Um, I'm not seeing a computer anywhere. Oh, an office. How am I supposed to get up there, though? Oh. That'll work. I'll just... Do, 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 do. Oh, too far. That's okay. Now I just gotta climb up here and break the glass. And we're in. Got the computer. Anything else in here? Nope, just lab equipment. Break your lab equipment, I don't even care. Door's locked. Gotta break out the window. Cowabunga! I can hardly believe it, but I got the job done. I got all three computers, and I grabbed enough other stuff so that it doesn't look like it was about the computers. And we're making a clean getaway. This is insane. What a rush. Oh, and the best part is I'm not going to go to prison for destroying that historic building. What a crazy couple of days. Oh, my gosh. It made the news. They're reporting on what I did. Oh, thank goodness I didn't leave any evidence behind. Woo, this has been a wild ride. I'm just glad I get to put this behind me now. Is this a message from our inspector lady? She better be happy with my work. Login devices. The customer registry indicates that Lee has worked almost exclusively with a single client recently. The client is also referred to as BT and no further details. So I really have to bother you with one more favor? What? Head back to Lee Chemicals and fetch their employees' login devices? I should be able to cross-reference those log files with the delivery schedules to figure out where they were moving the product and what BT means. I heard they installed a new security system. Be careful. No! No, that wasn't part of the deal! Ah! Oh, I want out! I want out of this! 
This isn't what I wanted. I wanted out of the hole, not to dig myself deeper. Oh boy. Why do I feel like this is the beginning of a long road? Okay, I don't really know why I'm still recording this, except maybe as evidence. If I'm arrested, please know I'm only doing this at the request of police investigator Parissa Turdeman. If that's even how you say her name. Oh boy. So I'm back at Lee Chemicals to uh, retrieve some employee login things. There's one here, and one here, and one here. And the tricky thing is, according to Turdeman, as soon as I pick one of these up, an alarm's gonna go off, and I have 60 seconds to get out of here. So I gotta strategize a little bit. Also, they upgraded their security, so I can't even get in the front gate. This fence doesn't look too big. Can I just, yeah. Nope, nope. One more time. And jump. Oh, so close. I'm not that good of a jumper. Okay, um, tell you what, I am a good climber. <laughs> what if we just climb the tree? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm in. Problem is now I don't have a way out. But where there's a will, there's a way. So I just need to... Meow. And there we go. You know what? Now that I think about it, maybe I should just go open the gate. So can I just clip onto that and then... Whoa! What the heck was that? Okay. Still worked. That was bizarre. That was a strong gate. All right. Our exit point is clear. We're gonna go ahead and mark this. Bingo. Okay. One of the devices is in this building. Uh-oh. Nope, can't get in that way. But I can get in through the window. Ha-ha. Ah, here we are. Okay. That's what we need. But as soon as I grab it, that's gonna set off the alarm. So don't touch it yet. We gotta figure out where the other devices are and how I'm gonna get to them. Is that the roof? Clear that out. Oh yeah, this is the roof. Okay, we can work with this. So we come from here out onto the roof and then where? Oh, it's right over there. Oh, this could work. Just so I don't forget. And then we got a hook. Okay. Don't slip and fall. So we run across here. And we gotta get in there. Do I jump? Or do I jump this way? Ooh, close one. Almost fell too far. And then there's a door. Okay, it's open. There's the other device. Okay. And the third device is way out here. Let's see what we're looking at. Oh no, it's a metal locked door on a brick building. And this is closed off. Shoot. Um, how are we supposed to get in there? <gasps> oh, yes, there's a catwalk that goes right into it. And here it is, box number three. And a window that we can escape out of. Hmm, maybe we can jump <sighs> and then go down that way. There's the van, we're home free from there. Hey, you know what? This roof access might actually be a good idea. We can get onto the roof from over here. That'll save us a lot of time compared to going down the stairs and into the building. Because the device is right there. Break this out. Right, can I just... Okay. Yeah. Maybe I can just sort of vault out of here. Oh, so close. But that, nope, okay. Crap. Oh, do you think I can? Huh. Yes, okay, if I time it right, I can jump all the way up onto the roof. Okay, I think we've got a plan. So we grab this box, we jump out the window onto the roof, we cross over on this pipe carefully, we land on the pad, we come in, grab this one, out the window onto the roof, jump down onto the platform, up the stairs, grab the box, out onto the window, 
and then we've got a straight shot to our van. I think this is gonna work. Well, only one way to find out. Here we go. Jump, oh yeah, and out, there we go. Onto the pipe, careful, careful, X marks the spot. Good landing. Grab it, grab it, and vault onto the roof, perfect. Come on, come on, come on, come on, fall down. Yes, we're going in, we're going in. Just keep up this pace, we got this. 38 seconds out the window. Oh, the alarm is so loud. Ah, okay, that's fine, we're good, we're good. Get to the car, 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, I think we did it, yes! Oh, hey everybody, I forgot to turn the camera back on after that last job, sorry about that. But it's a new day, it's so beautiful outside. I opened up the doors, came out here to take a deep breath. <sighs> and just be glad that all of that is behind me. And now I can get back to my life and my business. Oh, I still have to replace that sign. Gotta fix that. But it sure feels good for things to be back to normal. Look, I started work on the car, mostly just taking off the busted stuff. And I ordered a new tool. Check this out. This is a blowtorch. And I am not gonna show you how this works because I don't wanna accidentally burn down my whole warehouse. I also got this lift working, so I get to ride an elevator up to my bedroom if I want. Speaking of, look, I started working on my room. It's gonna be pretty dope. Right now, it is not. It is still very minimal in there. But yeah, overall, I am feeling great today. Oh boy, I'm in the news again. Thankfully, no one caught me on camera. Can you imagine if they saw my face? I doubt even Turdaman would be able to do anything to protect me then. I would be done for. Now, let's see about getting back to work. Doing regular jobs. Message from Tracy. They turned off the gas. I can't even make a proper coffee anymore. We really need to bring in more clients. I'll reach out to Gordon and see if he has something else. Gordon, the guy who got me into trouble in the first place? I haven't heard back from the police. That thing sorted? Mom. Yeah, it better be sorted. Marina too small. Oh, email from Gordon Wu. Thanks for helping me out with that building. No, no. The police were snooping around a little, but it seems to have cooled off now and we can finally start construction. You don't even know. I actually have another job for you. See, I bought this yacht recently, but it's too large for the marina and the board says there is no space for a new dock. Could you use your demolition skills again and remove one of the timeshare cabins if the original documentation also disappeared, then ta-da, like it was never there. Why does this guy keep giving me demolition jobs that seem super shady? West Point Marina. Well, I need the money, so I guess I'm taking another sketch job from Mr. Wu. Tell you what, I'll get recording again when I'm over at the job site. I'll see you guys there. Okay, I'm back. And hopefully this job is worth it because I had to rent a boat to be my getaway vehicle here. And they printed the old branding on it. I tried to use the spray paint to fix it, but it, it just looks bad. I gotta fix that. And according to Mr. Wu, I need to demolish this cabin and then dump this safe and this safe into the ocean. And all of those sound like difficult tasks. Oh, Gub Grill? I love this place. Man, I wish they were open in the middle of the night. Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. Shoot. Uh, okay, now I gotta make it look like a smash and grab. And, uh, yep, grab those. Okay, sorry, Gub Grill. Well, as long as we're making it look like a smash and grab, let's see if we can cover our tracks a little bit more. A trophy. Cash box. Whoa, sorry, didn't know my own strength. Painting. What? Wow, I am strong. So it's the last cottage, here we go. Hmm. So I guess the first thing to do is separate it from the other cottages. Can we just break all this up? There we go. And now we just gotta break down any other supports which means we're getting wet. 
Whoa, boy. That was a close one. And there it goes. Maybe. Can we sink it just a little more? Oh, come on. Get down there. Oh, look. Oh, a life vest. How appropriate. Ow. Okay. Demolition complete. Can I take this boat? Oh, yeah. Uh, is this boat going to fit under this bridge? I don't know. No. Nope. It decidedly did not. Put in the smash and smash and grab. All right. Next, we got to take care of that safe. According to the map, the safe is somewhere in this building. Swordfish? What? Well, 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 if it isn't a toilet. Whoa. There's a secret room back here. Call Quilla's replace printer. I'll help you out. Perfect. Yeah, this guy is literally paying me to defraud his own company, so I don't feel bad taking his stuff. There it is, the safe. Now, the problem is safes are uh, pretty heavy. Yep, okay. How are we gonna get this outside and into the water? Can we bust this window? Yes. Just clear this out for a second. Wonder if I could uh, scoot it this way. Yeah, and then maybe uh, drop it onto a vehicle. That might actually work, whoa. Maybe that vehicle. Let's see. Let's back this thing up into position. See if we can't get that safe to fall down. There we go. Let's just hope that doesn't get stuck once I drop the safe on it. All right. Here goes nothing. On your mark. Get set. Push! Oh, wow. Straight up broke the roof. But I think that'll work. Yep, it works. Now we just gotta make a beeline for the water. And jump out. Like a professional. All right, I've got one more objective all the way over there. And wouldn't you know it, there's a boat right here. Let's get to it. It should be right in there. All right, so here's the safe. And we can break out this way. Oh boy, problem. This safe is notably heavier than the other safe. Ah, whoo. I don't think we're gonna be able to dump it out this way. Maybe. Yes, I could just drop it through the floor and into a dump truck. Perfect. I just gotta try to move this boat out of the way. I'm so strong, yes. All right, that should be good. Just clear this stuff up. And let's see if we can't get this truck in position. Oh, there's already some stuff in the back of it. Can I like raise the bed? Oh yeah, there we go. Dump that out. All right, looks like we're straight in. And stop. All right, moment of truth. Whoa, oh, that almost crushed me. I almost just died. But it is in the back of the dump truck, so now we can get out of here. Uh, am I gonna be able to dump the dump truck? There's not a lot of room to turn around. You know what, screw it. Just send in the whole thing. And we're good. I don't really like taking these shady jobs, but I will say I am surprisingly good at them. Here we are at our escape boat that is improperly branded. And we're out. The Mystery Show. The Ghost Cabin. The Four Ocean Cabins at the West Point Marina, a popular holiday resort for many years. But according to Harbor Master Jim did something, there used to be five cabins. <gasps> Gasp! We searched through all available records, but no proof of a fifth cabin could be found. Yeah, because he removed the records. Without evidence, the rumors still persist of a ghost cabin. That I sunk into the ocean. 
Hey there, vlog watchers, it's me again. I'm sorry, I forgot to turn on the camera again. Let me catch you up to speed on what's been going on here. I've been remodeling my bathroom. It's coming along. I did replace the toilet, I know, after all that big talk about going outside. But guess what? It is raining outside. It is nasty, and I just discovered I have a hole in my roof. So I gotta fix that, and I don't really feel like doing my business outside, so toilet it is otherwise i did order myself a new tool and this one's going to confuse you i'm sure i bought a shotgun now i swear this is going to be 90 percent for work purposes but look i'm getting into some real shady stuff and i just want to make sure that if someone comes knocking and it's not someone friendly then i can at least answer with a bang so yeah a shotgun is now part of our arsenal. I mean, tool belt. Now, let's see if Tracy's found us any more jobs. Gordon Wu. Oh, no. I don't want to keep working with this guy. The problem is, I'm afraid if I stop working for this guy, it's all going to come out that I'm doing all this shady stuff. Fantastic work at the marina. Looks like it worked because they just cleared a construction permit for the new dock. Great. Another thing came up. There was this classic car auction up in Black River the other day and one guy just kept overbidding me. Lawrence Lee Jr., that youngster who inherited the chemical plant a few years ago. Uh-oh. Absolutely no interest in cars. He's just looking for ways to rotate his dirty money. It's a Gossetal B50. No idea what that means. The one they used in Seal the Deal 2 and Colonel Wilson's personal Jacoby from Normandy. What? Lee is about to put those cars on a ship overseas any day now and they'll be out of the country for good. If that's not criminal, I don't know what is. No, you don't know what is. Can you help me acquire these two gems? I'll take good care of them. Oh man, I really wanna say no, but I can't say no. At this point, I think I just have to keep recording what I'm doing so that if it ever comes back on me, I can point the finger, so. Yeah, I guess the vlog lives on, and I'll see you guys at the next job site. Gotta stop taking these jobs that have me out here so early in the morning. Hey everyone, I'm back at the marina, and I'm supposed to steal a couple cars. There's one here on a boat, and then another one looks like up in a warehouse. And there's also these documents that I'm supposed to take care of, so I think we need to scope out what we're doing here. Well, the boat is over there, and there's a gate over here. And normally I would say, we're out of luck, but I've got a blowtorch, so I can just sort of, and then like, oh yeah, like that. And then, boop, oh ho ho ho. Now we can just, because I'm so strong and, ugh. there we go. Uh, maybe do another piece just to be safe. This is a cool tool. Cool tool. Okay. The gate is open. I'm just gonna hit, hit, hit. Ah, parkour. Is the boat in here? Ah, there it is. Okay, and the car is back here and it is attached to a device. So I can't drive it off or the alarm will go on. Also, it's on a boat, so I can't really drive it off yet anyway. Tell you what, since it's already on a boat, why don't I just drive the boat over there? And we'll see if we can maybe back it up. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm much better with cars. All right, back in the boat, backing the boat up. How about just right onto the bridge? I don't wanna get too crazy. Okay, that, that was pretty crazy. All right, I think that'll work. Okay, we've got a straight shot to the truck. Now there's supposed to be documents over in this house. Let's check that out. Wow, they repaired that hole in the wall really fast. I am impressed. Aha, documents. And they are attached to an alarm. So, we're gonna have to do this in one fell swoop. What's back here? Hmm, there's the warehouse. So I might be able to come in this way grab the documents, and then run out uh, this way. Just make him have to fix this hole in the wall again. 
I wonder if I could bring that van over here. Close enough. Okay. So I jump out here into the car, back to the truck. The question is, how am I supposed to get up here? There's no ladder and no steps. I wonder. Hmm. Now that's metal. But maybe I can detach it from the wall. Hello. Don't mind me. Just stealing documents. Okay, now, if I can blowtorch this bad boy. Eh. Eh. And then down here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This might work. Put it up as a ramp. A very narrow ramp, but one that I think will work. Like that. And wouldn't you know, there's a speedboat right here to get from the warehouse over here. Oh, this is going to work. I just got to hook. And then up, up, up. Oh, I think this is going to work. All right, let's drive the speedboat over. Now, don't break it because we want this to go back the other way. All right, close enough. That'll get me over there. Let's see what we're looking at here. Oh, that's the other car I need. And here's the other thing I need, spare parts. Okay, so if I grab these and then maybe just run out that way, get in the boat, I can just zip across to get the documents. But I need to get this car over there. Thankfully, this one's already loaded up on a truck. So why don't we just uh, drive this bad boy out of here? Oh boy, careful, careful. Oh, okay, okay, I can do this. Thread the needle. There's a gate in the way, but I don't care. I'm going for it. Oh yeah. Woo! Here's another one. Yeah, no one's gonna stop me. Wow, I like really banged up the front of this truck. Okay, I think we're ready. So the plan is to grab the spare parts, get in the boat, cross the pond, jump out of the boat, into the house to grab the documents, out to the van, drive down here, grab the cars, and we're out of here. Sounds like a foolproof plan. Let's do it. Uh, having to walk all the way back was not a good part of this plan. It's fine. I need the exercise. Okay, deep breath. And here we go. Jump. Oh, that was a big jump. And go, go, go. Ready to disembark in three, two, one, go. Jump, jump, get up, there we go, jump. Climb the pole, climb the pole, perfect. Grab, and come on, van. Oh yeah, here we go. And whoop. Let's get this one. Perfect, exactly as I intended, into the truck. One more, one more. Come on, 20 seconds. Just back it in, back it in. No, the other way. Oh, okay. We're not taking the pole with us. Get in the car. Oh, there's a helicopter coming. Woo. Woo, that was crazy. That was so close. Did you see the helicopter? It was like right there. Oh, hopefully it didn't see me. These jobs are getting riskier and riskier. I don't like that. Can we just go back to normal demolition jobs? Lawrence Lee Jr. Not really demolition, but... Oh no, this is not going to be a normal job. You don't know me, but I've had a series of break-ins recently. Oh no. In the last one, I lost two very rare classic cars, and guess what? I know who did it. Gordon Wu. Oh no. That absolute prick is now bragging to everyone at the club about his two new fav possessions. Oh, fave, sorry. This guy's trying to be all hip. The break-ins caused me a lot of property damage and I'd like to let Gordon taste some of his own medicine. Since you're in the demolition industry, I thought, well, I don't know if you do this sort of work, but let me know if it sounds interesting. No, no, I don't do this kind of work. I don't want to do this kind of work, but he knows about the break-ins. He knows it was Gordon. If I say no, Gordon could turn me over to Lawrence, and then I'm in trouble. Turdaman, what do you want? I've been up all night digging through the login devices and managed to find a connection to the West Point Marina. Oh no. I haven't been able to figure out more on BT, 
but Lee has a warehouse in West Point. I guess whatever fishy business he's up to, the marina is not the final destination. I was thinking the boat GPS devices can give me an idea where he is moving the product? Especially if I could compare their recent destinations to the shipping log. Can you get them for me? No! I'm in demolitions! I run a teardown business. This is not what I do. This is not what I want. Oh my gosh, it's in the news. All of these things happening and I'm right in the middle of it. My name is out there. If I try to leave now, they might just turn on me. I don't want to do it, but I think I might have to. Holy crap, look at this place. This is Gordon Wu's house. Or not house, this is like a whole complex. This is crazy. This dude must have so much money. And now I'm here and I'm supposed to like trash some of his cars in some sort of uber rich man's revenge. Well, there's a car right there. And it is connected to an alarm, which means we're gonna have to plan this out or we're gonna get caught. What is this house? Are you kidding me? Whoa, a walk-in freezer? That is awesome. Oh, what's that? Tomato soup. Sure. He won't even notice that's gone. A vacuum cleaner? Sure. Yo, look at this bathroom. This is crazy. Oh, hello, toilet. Probably an expensive toilet, too. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this chair. Like who actually enjoys that kind of a chair? This place is absolutely nuts. What is this? Russian caviar, $80? Wait, is this an elevator? No way. <gasps> oh, dude. So this is how the other half lives. $250 coin collection and it's stuffed in a corner. What is wrong with these people? Oh my gosh, a $120 bronze statue of what appears to be a duck. This is outrageous. The way these people spend money. What, a private movie theater? No way. I am just blown away. Whoa, what? motion sensor doors oh my gosh could you even imagine living in a place like this this is crazy okay okay i should probably get back to like what i'm actually here for you know ruining some cars ah look there's a car and here's a weird sculpture just probably should send a message how am i supposed to get these cars out of here if they're all hooked up to security this is going to be a challenge of course, I'm not actually supposed to drive off with the cars. I'm supposed to dump them into the water, because that makes sense. Again, some sort of rich man's revenge. Oh, is this a pool? Oh, no, it's drained. That would have been perfect. Crap. Well, here's an itty bitty pool. Maybe that'll work. What the what? Is this a race course? This guy has a private racetrack in his backyard. There's one of the cars I need. All right, all right, all right, let's think for a minute. We got this red car out here, the one on the display. We saw this one. There's something in this garage. That guy's on a truck, and then something over here. And for water sources, we've got the water, and then a little pool. Can't use the big pool. And then I think this out here is also a pond. Oh yeah, look, we could use that. Okay. Now, what is the vehicle in the garage? Ah, hello. Ah, this guy does not have wheels on. That's gonna make it hard to drive because I don't really know much about that. Nope, I'm a demolitions man, so yep, we're in trouble. Oh, wait, raise the lift. Uh ho ho. And that car is not on a monitor, so I could just move it right now. And I saw some construction on the way in. Oh yeah, here we go. Time to go to the dump. You think I can just bust through here? Please? Yeah! Oh, there goes the front of the truck, but that's okay. And let's just try to back in here. Oh, look, it opens automatically for us. 
Okay, I think that's gonna work. Let's lift this boy up. And back it in. Now the question is, can I disconnect this guy? Maybe with the blowtorch. Yeah! Um, fitting that through the door is going to be a little tricky. Can I make this bigger? Nope, can't do anything about that. I mean, I can break the garage door, no problem. Can't break the frame, but maybe that'll come out with the blowtorch. Now, I wonder... What would happen if I just... Ooh, that works! Maybe I can... Eh. This is very unconventional. There we go. That might have just done it, and I just ran out of ammo for my shotgun. So, perfect timing. Oh, sorry, car. Okay, let's see if this will fit. Yo ho, look at that. Now we just gotta take this out and drop it somewhere. And send it. There you go, one down. So this one is on a truck, which means I can move it wherever and just don't drop it off the truck until it's time. I like that idea. The question is, can we take it up this ramp? Looks a little steep, but let's give it a shot. Go, go, go! Wow, that was nice. Oh, look, more construction vehicles. Okay. Here's some water. We're just going back this guy up. Whoa, don't go too far. And stop. And lower the ramp. All right, and I'd say that's ready to go. Now over here, there we go, that's the last car. That is a small little one. I bet it's really fast. So if we take this guy out here into the water, then we can run right here and grab this one. Easy peasy. All right, the plan is coming together, but I still got three cars over there. It means I need to be able to get from here over there. Is there another car around here I can borrow? Here we go, a little pickup. Woo! So once I dump the two sports cars, I'm gonna hop in the truck and go this way. Let's drive it down to here, then we'll hop out and jump in this one, which I'm going to drive this way into the pool. Then I'll run over here, get in the red car, drive that one into the pool, and then I'm going to need another car to get to the last one over there. So once the red one is dumped, I jump in this car and I drive it over here right over here and then i just need to bust this open hop in this one and then we'll take it out the garage door and over there to that pond which happens to be right next to my van hit hit okay and of course this wall is too tall but there is a bush right here so i can just hit and hop on out okay i think i have a plan it's crazy, but I think I have a plan. Okay, deep breath. <sighs> and here we go. On your mark, get set, full throttle. Whoa, this thing's fast. Okay, there it goes. Back this one up. Yep, 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 into the truck. Here we go, off-roading in the truck. All right, looking good, looking good. It's a straight shot to the next car. And, oh, don't go too far. Oh, I might have gone too far. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get in the car. No, I can sneak past. Okay. Woo! Oh, okay. This thing does not turn very sharply. Come on, we got to get in the pool. Get in the pool. Eh, yep, there you go. That's close enough. Come on, Red, you're up next. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa, this car does go fast. All right, we got one left. Hop in. Driving down. Oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be tight. Uh oh, run door. Come on through the door. Here we go. Oh, here comes the helicopter. No! Stay away! Eh. Oh no! I'm not gonna make it! What? Oh 
Holy crap! That was so close! I can't believe that! That helicopter was like right there! How did he not catch me? Woo! Count my lucky stars! Wow, what an adrenaline rush! Oh, hey, new tools! Ah, my planks! And pipe bombs. That's right. We are going all out on things that go boom. Uh, for example. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Woo. I'm still feeling it. Uh, we got a new message. Um, Parissa, I still didn't do your GPS job yet. What do you want now? Another thing came to mind. Since the computers didn't include any details on BT, Maybe there are documents in his safes that could bring some clarity. You have already done a lot for me, but if you have the time and energy to get to them, I'd appreciate it. You've got to be kidding me. What are you talking about? So Turdeman wants me to go to West Point Marina for GPS devices and then go back to Lee Chemicals for the decryption key? Uh, this is getting out of hand. I don't like this. But I guess right now I don't really have a choice if I want to stay out of prison. So... I'll get this camera recording again when I'm over at the job site. Ah, another quiet morning here at the marina. Because no one else is here. Except me. And I'm only here to steal things, so... I'm glad no one else is here. Oh, hey, another thing. You guys will appreciate this. Look, it no longer says LTS. It now doesn't say anything because I covered the whole thing in spray paint because that chopper has gotten awfully close a couple times. And I don't want him seeing our logo, even though it's not my logo, and then tracking me down with it. So, still gotta fix the branding. Well, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't want my van to actually have my name on it. I don't know, I gotta think about that. For now though, I'm thinking about, holy crap, why does Tournament have me doing this? Look at this, I gotta pick up GPS devices here, and in here, and in here, and on these boats. This is ridiculous. Since when did I become the lackey for all these people? This is getting really annoying. I've got a feeling we're gonna need to get rid of this again. Aha, there's one of the GPS devices on this boat. And of course, it's connected to an alarm box, which means I can't move it yet. Great. Gentle, gentle. There we go. That's much easier. Oh boy. Yep. That device is on that boat, which means I need to get on that boat. You don't reckon I could like plank across? Oh boy. Well, kind of, actually. Oh, and I dropped it. Aha, how about that? Eh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. planks for the win! All right, maybe I do have a future in construction. Now, can I move this thing? Oh, it's stuck to the ropes, no! So we gotta disconnect it. Maybe with the blowtorch action. And last one. There we go, let's see if that did it. And we are free! Here we go! Suddenly I'm having deja vu. And just because. Okay, and then over here there's like a truck with a boat on it, I think. Let's check that out. Oh yeah, here we go. And the device is on the boat, but the boat is on a trailer connected to the truck, which means I should be able to just drive it out of here. Whoa, that's a tight turn. Clear that sign, we are good. Wide turns, yep, yep, yep. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Just go ahead and pop that right there. And you think I could? Yes, okay. And just because. Okay, so the plan is coming together. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna start over here on this boat. Then I'm gonna drive the boat over here, hop out, I need to put a car over here so I can drive to the house, get whatever this is, jump out into a boat, drive the boat down here to the boat house to grab the other GPS device, then hop in a car to come back here, grab these two, and get out of here. Sounds like a plan. All right, truck is in place, and van is in place. 
Let's go scout out the building we need to infiltrate. Aha! There it is. So, we can bust out this way. You know, I've got some planks here. I wonder if I can just make my own way in, you know? Like, if I could do that, and then... That. So we'll park here, and then we'll run up here. Grab the files, then go out that way to the boat, over to the boathouse. Okay, last thing is to check out this boat. Okay, so there's the GPS device, and this is not going to break, unless... Nope, it's not going to break. Wow, they still have not done anything about the wreckage over here. That's just lazy. Okay, I wonder... Instead of taking that boat, it might be worth taking this boat if I can line it up right and not break it. Oh, there we go. So this way I don't need to make this one turn. I can just go straight forward. Okay, I think we're ready. On your mark, get set, go! Full steam ahead. I'm just gonna crash right into this wall. And hop out. Into the van. Nice. All right, don't slow down. I'm just gonna bail. Ready, bail. Oh, almost took out my ramp. Got the documents. Good. Let's get in the speedboat. Go. Go. Oh, come on. Oh boy. Oh, the speedboat is speedy. It's okay. We can make it straight into the boathouse. Yes. Get the document. GPS. Whatever it is. Go. Grab it, and last one, last one. Grab it, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I can hear the helicopter. There it is. Good thing I painted my sign. See ya. It is still a surreal thing seeing your work in the news. Makes you kind of unsettled if you know what I'm saying. Ah, uh, we are getting really deep into this. Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. It's the next day, and honestly, I'm not even sure why I'm still recording this. At this point, this is just Exhibit A, when I'm going on trial and end up going to prison, even though none of this was my fault. But hey, we're in this deep, might as well keep digging. Oh no, a new message from Gordon Wu. Still don't know how, but Lee found out about the cars and totally overreacted. Yeah, that was me. I just saved the life of those poor cars and he goes completely mental and vandalized my property. Can you believe that good thing? I'm properly insured. I have thought about ways to get back at him and finally nailed it. Please, please leave me out of this. The iconic water tower at Lee Chemicals. His grandfather built it with his bare hands and has become a symbol for the entire Lee family. They even use it in their logo type. Making that tower a little less tall would make a more suitable symbol for the small man he is. Oh, guys. Sorry, Gordon, but Turdeman got here first with her request, and she also knows more of my dirty little secret than you, so I'm going to leak chemicals, all right. But I'm doing it to locate this GPS encryption key. So, unless something goes terribly wrong on the drive over, I'll see you guys there. Okay, I'm back at Lee Chemicals, but this time I came by boat. And I still have the old branding on it, LTS, so I just added an O and a C, so now it says Colts. You know, like the football team, because I don't mind them getting blamed for this. So I gotta find some keys and stuff. Yeah, there's like these decryption keys here, here, and here, and then I need to get a safe from here and a safe from there. Oh boy, that's gonna be tricky because no doubt there's going to be alarms on all of these things. Can I get over this fence? Oh yeah! Uh-huh, there's one of the keys right there. It is on an alarm box, but more importantly, it is behind these metal bars in a brick building, so we're going to have to scope this place out a little bit. A uh, dump truck? That might come in handy for the safes. Man, they locked this place up good. It's almost like somebody was in here stealing stuff and they upgraded their security measures. I gotta get in there. And this one is exposed. Okay, that helps me a little bit. Let's find those safes. 
Safe number one is out in the open, but getting it out onto the ground is gonna be another challenge. And safe number two is right in here. It didn't bar off these windows. Now maybe if I bring the dump truck right in this alley, I can get both safes in the back of the truck. Maybe. Back it up, back it up, back it up. So that could maybe work. Ah, screw it, I'm not walking around. It's time to make ourselves a door. In the door. Booyah! There you go, that felt great. Now, first question, can I maybe break this pipe? Woo! There we go. I'm strong. Come on, this was a mistake. I'm strong, but I'm not that strong. Yes, okay. Wow, that was tricky. And now, maybe we can just... And yeah! Ka-chow! Kablamo! Now, can we scoot this thing out? Come on, this way, just a little bit. Oh, not too far. I don't want you falling out prematurely. There we go. Okay, that one's ready to just drop in. Come on, wiggle, wiggle. Just not too far. There we go. We got two safes ready to go. Actually, this might be a good opportunity to try out our new pipe bombs. Let's see, how about, yeah. Oh, look at that, we're in. Sweet. Which means we can go up here, and from in here, we can make our way out onto the roof. Just like we did last time. Actually, you know what? We could make it proper and get onto the roof guaranteed. Nice. That other key is right in there. What if we can blow the roof? What? That was perfect! So we come out here and then we just drop in and grab it. Which leads us out here and we can jump onto there to grab the safes. Look at us, we're doing it! The one thing missing is the key all the way over here. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. If I'm careful, I might be able to eh, get up here. Eh, yes! And then we might be able to disconnect this whole pipe, which would make a natural bridge across the canal. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay. We're bending. That's good. Oh yeah, that looks good. However, we do have these support beams, and that is not good. Wonder if I could just... Oh, look at that. That's almost what I want. Oh ho getting closer. And moment of truth. Ooh, look at that. One more shot. There we go. It may not be pretty, but this is exactly what I need. Nice. So now we just gotta blast our way in here. And for that, I think we should go all out. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, what's this? Oh, uh -huh. okay. I think we're ready. All right, on your mark, get set, go. Run, run, run. Turn the corner onto the bridge. Yep. Jump off the bridge. In through the hole. Grab the box. Nice. Up the steps. Turn it around. And up onto the roof. Get ready. Drop it in. Grab it. Perfect. Oh my gosh, this is going to work. Here we go. Onto the pipe. And onto the truck. And grab the safes. Drop it in. It's in. Second one. Drop it in. It's in! Get in the truck! And here we go! Busting through the door. And then off to our boat. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go! Woo! Yeah, baby! <sighs> Well, 
I'm tired. I'm tired of pulling heists. I'm tired of working each side against each other while profiting in the meantime. Yeah, I like the money, but I just want to run a regular teardown business. Is that too much to ask? I'm tired. I just want to go to bed. Oh, except my bed doesn't fit in the door into my new bedroom. I forgot about that. You have a kid me. Ugh. I gotta fix that. But I'm gonna do that off camera because like I said, I'm tired. So I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Ah, <sighs> this is what I needed. A good nap, a bite to eat, and a nice sit beside the quiet, peaceful river where I'm reminded that it doesn't matter what is happening outside of me. I can find peace within me. I am the master of my own emotions. And I can do whatever I put my mind to. That's going to be my new mindset, my new strategy. No more of this getting stressed out over things that I have no control over. I'm a grown man. I can take it in stride. And I will not lose my cool over it. Oh, look, a new tool was delivered. Ah, yes, the gun. Hmm. I ordered that before I had this change of mindset. When I was a little bit angry, a little bit worried, I was getting sucked into things that I had no control over. And, um thought I might need a little more umph in my tool belt. But you know, I don't. I don't need that. I, I can manage. I am the master of my own emotions. I don't need that tool. So let's see what kind of calm and controlled work we can get ourselves into today. Parissa Turdeman. <sighs> it's okay. I am in control. Thanks, now I just need to find someone who can work a safe. I'll get back to you in a bit and let you know how it goes. Look at that. We are in control. Parissa is done with me. My job is finished. Oh crap, I forgot about this. Gordon Wu wants me to delete the water tower. <sighs> stay calm, stay calm. I am in control of my emotions. And even though I am being forced to do something that I do not want to do, I am the one who decides whether these things will affect me. All right, good evening, everyone. I am here at Lee Chemicals, and I am in control of my emotions. And I have brought a bunch of bombs because I am also supposed to blow up that tower. But that is not a responsibility that I need to place on myself because I am in control of my own feelings. So let's get started. Today may be a day that things have to go boom, but that does not mean that my emotions must also explode. I am in control. And that is quite a bit of tower I need to take down. Hopefully I've got enough explosives. Let's get inside and take a look. Oh, the door is locked. Well, conveniently, I've got these new bombs. So maybe if I stick... Oh, it's beeping, look out! Okay, that was close. Wow, I thought these were like place and detonate later kind of bombs. That could have been bad. All right, stairs up to the top. Anything I need to be on the lookout for? No, just these pipes, which I assume are going into maybe a water tank. Oh, yep, yep, there it is. Now, despite almost blowing myself up at the door, I promise I am a demolitions expert. And I know that if you're trying to bring a tower down, the best place to start is on the ground level. Because if we can take out this part, then the whole thing is just gonna fall over for us. Easy peasy. Gonna need to disconnect it from those pipes though. Oh, well, looky here. In case we need it, they left me some heavy machinery. I would prefer to do this all with explosions, though. That's the more fun way. All right. Let's disconnect this guy. Man, this blowtorch is awesome. All right, now for the fun part. Make things go boom. Not that I'm getting carried away by emotions. I'm still at a state of inner peace. Now, the problem with these timed charges is that I can't just rig the whole building and then watch it go down in one swing. So, we gotta do this one step at a time. How about... 
Oh, inner peace, inner peace, inner peace. Okay. Yep, that'll do. And then how about a little boop, boop. Oh. Nice. Nope, we don't want the fire alarm going off. Oh, wow, look at that. All right, let's do this wall. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, that was close. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm a little surprised this thing hasn't come down yet. It's being held by that little stick and this wall and a little bit right here. So these are some tough bricks, you know? They don't make them like they used to. And I think to do this safely, we need to go... Oh, don't get stuck on the bush. What? It's still standing? I have never seen this before. This is crazy. All right, this should be it. On your mark, get set, run. Inner piece, inner piece, inner piece. Um, what? This is so dangerous. The whole thing is being held up by this one post. What in the world? Okay, so doing this from a safe distance, maybe I should throw a pipe bomb. Hooah! Oh, there it goes! There it goes! Stand back, everybody! It's fall- it- it stopped falling. What? What the heck? This is some of the jankiest physics I've ever seen. Look at that! Look at that! Alright, this is our last bomb. On your mark, get set, inner peace! There it goes, all the way down! Ho 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 ho! That is one demo tower, baby. Inner peace with a side of proud of myself for pulling that off. All right, let's get out of here. This Zen master is feeling hungry. I want an inner piece of pie, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, Lee Chemicals' famous tower torn down by unknown trespassers. It was me. I tell you what, man, this inner peace stuff is really working out. How are things, Mom? They turned the gas back on. Coffee never tasted better. I was skeptical about working with Mr. Wu in the first place, but he does pay well. So does the new client, Lee Chemicals. Did they contact you directly? By the way, I heard on the news there's some madman on the loose around here. I hope you remember to lock the door at night. Oh, Mom, you can't keep out what's already in. See, this inner peace stuff is working out really well. Lawrence Lee Jr., that escalated quickly. Gordon really took this one step too far. You probably heard on the news, but he hit my tower. No, it wasn't him. The Lee Tower. My poor grandfather is probably turning in his grave right now. It'll cost me a fortune to rebuild that. I need to get back at Gordon, but he's so loaded with money that whatever I do, he can just pay someone to fix it. Like me. The only way to get him is to strike where his fat wallet can't protect him. His precious art collection. Some of those paintings would also make a nice contribution to the rest restoration fund for my new tower. Oh, Junior, I am not a thief. I am just a demolition guy who has found a new lease on life. It's called Inner Peace. You should try it. Anton Wolf needs some tools? Hey, I've heard about your skills. Could you do a quick job for me? What? You see, there's construction going on at the marina, some new docks or something, and there are high-end tools spread all over the place. I could really use some of them for an upcoming job. Could you get over here and collect them for me? Anton? No, I can't do that for you. I am not a thief. I'm in demolitions. Why are people talking about me and saying that I'm a thief? I don't want to do that. I want to break stuff. People saying I have skills. I do have skills in demolition. That's what I do. I'm not a thief. That's not me. I am a demolition expert. I know how to break stuff. It's what I do. And now I gotta fix that, again. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this gun and I'm gonna go do those jobs and if anyone so much as looks at me wrong, I am gonna hit them in the head with a sledgehammer. Forget inner peace. These people do not respect me. So I am going to do what they're asking and do it so well that then they'll have to respect me because it makes sense in my brain, okay? Had a good nap, Dan is done. This is need to blow something up, Dan. And I'll see you guys over there. 
All right, I'm back. I'm at Gordon Wu's estate. I've given up on this Zen nonsense, and instead, I'm swinging hard the other way. No emotion? No, no, I say all emotion. I'm going to let my emotions feed me until I am the best demolition man slash thief that anyone has ever seen or not seen, because I will leave no trace. And supposedly there's precious artwork here and here and here and here and here and here. That's six pieces of art, and I will only have a minute once the alarm goes off. So 60 seconds divided by six is 10 seconds average for each piece of art. That doesn't seem like a lot. First things first, let's scope it out. Oh yeah, I remember this place. How the high and mighty live. Well, you know what? I'm angry at the high and mighty. Yeah! That didn't work. Yeah! Oh no, somebody broke your window. Oh no, somebody threw an explosive at your front door. Oh no, somebody set your couch on fire. Actually, no, we can't have that. Can't have the fire alarm going off. It's your lucky day, couch. Aha, the first priceless piece of work. What is that? Stripes. Well, I can't argue with that. It is stripes. It's also connected to an alarm. And then there's this one, which is also on an alarm. I've got a bad feeling that all of these are gonna be that way. The real question is, why does anybody put priceless art in a guardhouse? It's like he's just showing off. Something going on over here at the racetrack? Big exhibition or something? Ha. Huh. Okay. Weird. Oh look, another race car. Oh, two race cars. And that ugly thing. I don't, I don't understand that. Ooh. And the last piece of art is all the way down here in this cabin. Oh boy. And there it is in the sauna room. Can I get out this way? Yeah, okay. Well, I tell you what, this one is gonna take some doing. All right, done. Easy access accomplished. And we got a vehicle out here. Maybe I could use that to drive over sh somewhere. You know what else I could drive? These race cars. I think that's a great idea. Whoa! <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Use that anger. Yeah. All right, and then we'll do a little right there. Now, this might be a little risky, but... Oh yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. This is gonna be crazy. I need another car. Aha! Now, I just wanna see something. Ah, okay. Now, this is gonna be tricky. All right, this is a crazy idea, but let's try it out. Just gonna go like... Uh, that? Hmm. And then maybe I can... Uh, eh? I mean, that could work. Now maybe... Eh. 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 Okay. I think I might actually have a plan. It's gonna be pretty crazy if it works. But I guess there's only one way to find out. All right, Dan, channel that inner rage. You're an art thief now. Ready, set, go. Inside, here we go. And jump out, go up the stairs. Oh, that was great. Up these planks, jump, jump. Oh, watch out for the glass. Okay, good, good, good. Get the stripes, stupid stripes. And jump, oh, watch out for glass. Ouch. Okay, here we go, grab. Looking good, looking good, down into the car. Yes, go, go, go. We don't have a lot of time. Oh, we gotta go fast, we gotta go fast. Whoa, that was crazy. Go, 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 go. I don't know about this. Bail. There we go, into the speed car. Here we go. Woo, fast car. This is gonna be so close. Grab, into the truck. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Oh, the helicopter's coming. The helicopter is coming fast. Come on. Get me in there. We just got to get out of here. Go, go, go. Oh, come on. No! Okay, it's back on. Wow, that was weird. My camera just like totally glitched out and shut itself off. Sorry about that, everyone. Hopefully you didn't miss too much of what happened or see stuff that didn't happen. That would be weird. So anyway, here's the plan. I've got it all mapped out. We're gonna start here with this ugly painting. We're gonna run out up this cool ramp onto the roof to grab this ugly painting, jump off into this Jeep, drive over to the guard house where we grab that ugly painting. Then we hop in the sports car, drive down through the garage over to this tent where we grab a slightly less ugly painting, hop in a race car, drive over to this cabin where there's another ugly painting, jump in this race car, drive through the woods, crash into this building where we grab this last painting that is that's uh, still pretty ugly. And then we jump in this truck, drive all the way around to the boat, and then I'm out. So without further ado, on your mark, get set, go! Look at this. It's a good thing this camera is waterproof. Oh, get inside, get inside. Wow, that is nasty. Woo! Massive thunderstorm, no kidding. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Woo! I hope this lets up soon. We might be in for a rough night. Speaking of a rough night, why have I come to dread reading my own email? What's this, Lockhell City Council? Lockell celebrations. Looking forward to seeing you at the upcoming Lockell celebrations. There will be concession stands, music performances, and an ice cream van. The Lockell Home Guard will do their annual parade at the end of the evening. There will be huge fireworks. Ah, okay. Community stuff. Probably won't go to that. Missing artwork. Whoops, did I do that? Good evening, I am a claims adjuster at Kirthi Insurance Group, investigating an art incident that happened to Gordon Wu recently. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wu claims to know who's responsible for the stolen paintings, a Mr. Lawrence Lee Jr. Well, I mean, kind of, but he's very keen to not involve the police. I mean, if you want a dirty cop, I know somebody. Gordon's account has caused us some financial strain recently, and it is in our interest to bring back the paintings as discreetly and swiftly as possible. According to our intelligence, the paintings are hidden at the marina. I know Gordon has been working with you in the past. Maybe you can help me out. So wait, the paintings that I just stole on behalf of Lee, I'm now going to steal back on behalf of Wu. This just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Oh, and that other guy wanted me to steal the tools from the marina. Crap, what am I supposed to do first? Who is least likely to out me as a thief if I don't do their job? All right, I guess I'm gonna go steal the paintings back for Wu first. I mean, I did steal them from him in the first place, so that only seems fair. All right, I'll catch you guys over there. I do not think this is worth it. I am only out here because I don't want to go to jail. Oh my gosh, what was that? Lightning! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, lightning just blew up that tree! Okay, oh, I'm that one! I gotta hurry, where am I going? Okay, we got four pieces of art. One down here, oh yeah, the stripes one. And this one, the rainbow. This one, the weird dots patterns. And one all the way over here. Wait, I didn't steal that painting. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We just gotta go and we gotta go fast because it is crazy out here. Let's go here first. 
Oh my gosh, it just hit that building! Quick, get inside, get inside! Fire! Oh my goodness, look! Oh, no, 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 if it all catches fire, there's gonna be an alarm going off. I'm gonna get busted when I didn't even do anything yet. Oh, this is insane. This is insane. Good thing I got the fire extinguisher 9000 with an infinite supply. Okay, we're good. Uh-huh. Hiding behind the couch. You're mine. That's one down. Sorry about your house. I didn't do this for a change. I didn't do this. Dude, I need to be careful. If the fire alarm goes off, I'm gonna get busted. Today, I am the opposite of a demolitions expert. I'm actually trying to save things from getting destroyed. Like this! Put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out! Okay, I think we're good. Oh, no, we're not good! We are not good! This is crazy! Why did I take this job? Where, where are the stairs? Where are the stairs to get up? Were these the stairs? Yeah, come on. Yeah. What am I doing? Just use the planks. Alright, where's this painting? Oh, I see you up there. Come here. Ooh, anything else up there? I can't see. Alright, we're going. Oh no, here we go again. Oh no, here we go again. Okay. Just pump it all in there. That's not good. That's not good. No, oh, now I'm in the water. Get out of the water. Can't the rain just put this out? All right, it's somewhere in here. If I can just get in eh, without falling in the water. Uh, 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 no. There we go. Aha. I see ya. Give me that. Okay, three down. And the other one is all the way over there. I wonder if I could just take that boat. Or that boat. Look at that big old yacht. Bet we could have some fun. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh-oh. I see smoke. Is there fire going on here? Uh, how do I get up there? How do I? No. Yeah. Okay. That's one way to do it. Okay. There is a fire. Let's put this out. Okay. Crisis averted. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's do it. I'm king of the world! Come on, all the way through! That is one way to do it. Wow, look at that grin. That's a happy yacht right there. Uh-oh, we got lightning. We got fire. We gotta go. Crap. Oh, that's a bad one. That's a bad one. Eh. Okay. Woo, just in time. Oh, that's a doozy. That is a doozy. Woo! Fire extinguisher 9000 for the win! No way! Just as I got here, too. Alright. Huh. Oh my word! No, no, no! Stop it! Stop it! And stay out! Well, the good news is, with this place getting lit up by lightning, I don't think anyone's gonna be suspicious about where these paintings went. Alright, I gotta get out of here. Go, go, go. I can't stop every fire. I just need to get out of here before the alarm goes off. Okay, bye. I gotta get out of here. Excuse me. Oh, the gate just opened. Never mind. I'm out. Y'all can deal with any more fires. I've done my part. Woo! Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. The storm has passed. We're back to normal. My warehouse did not catch fire and break down, but look, I finally got my bed in my bedroom. Granted, I had to completely remove this section of wall in order to do it, but now that it's in, I can uh, close it back up. So then it's stuck there. And oh yes, new tools got delivered. I went ahead and ordered some of those bombs that I used to take down the Lee Tower. So we'll add those to our tool belt. Just as I suspected, nothing in the news about missing paintings at the marina, just that there were fires that were put out, maybe by the rain. It's a miracle that the buildings are still standing. Well, no, it was me, but I can't admit to that. I've stayed out of the news for bad reasons, and I guess now I have to stay out of the news for good reasons, too. Oh well. It is what it is. I still got paid. 
Speaking of paid, oh no, new messages. Jillian Johnson, nice job with the paintings. A little chart here and there. So I'll have to find someone to retouch them a bit before they return to Gordon. He won't know the difference. Anyway, I heard about the thunderstorm. Glad you made it out safely. Best regards, Jillian. Good, good, good. Marissa Turdeman, what do you want? Guess what? We found a pattern for the recently visited locations in the GPS devices you picked up from the marina. That seems like a long time ago. It pointed me to Hollow Rock Island, an old fish processing plant now making some kind of energy drink. BT is short for Blue Tide. Why didn't I think of that before? My daughter is totally addicted to that disgusting sugary sludge. You are very talkative, Parissa. I'm here right now. It's a bit worn down, but pretty better than image. I'm still trying to figure out the mobile telephone camera. Oh, goodness, Parissa. Most of the island is closed off for visitors, and they don't seem very interested in answering questions. I need to find out where the lead payments go. And if I could just have a look in the Blue Tide computers, that might bring me some clarity. I was hoping you could do me this last favor. Oh, Turdeman, you're killing me. I don't want to do you any more favors. Gordon Wu, not only did Lee steal some of our most beloved paintings, but the insurance company is causing me headaches too. I'm a premium customer, but I still haven't seen any money for those paintings. I'll deal with Lee later, but right now I need to take the insurance payout in my own hands. I don't have a personal grudge with anyone at the moment, so I'd like to just poke them a bit where it hurts any respected company the most, their bank account. I have a top-notch policy on my cars, so if some of those were stolen, they would need to cough up. I'll hook up a few cars to the alarm system to make it look legit. Please be gentle. Guys, we gotta stop doing this. Gordon wants me to help him commit fraud. Turdeman wants me to help her with espionage. Anton Wolf, oh, I forgot about this guy. He wants me to steal stuff for him. Guys, what have I gotten myself into? I hate this. But I can't stop. If I stop, I'll get caught. Oh boy. All right, viewers and or the jury who is watching this as evidence of my guilt. It's time. I've got my work cut out for me. I'll see you at the job site. Okay, everybody, I am back here at the marina and boy, did they fix it up pretty quick. After that big storm and all the lightning strikes and fire damage, this place is looking back to normal. So there are six tools I'm supposed to steal for this guy. There's something down here, something right here, up here, down here in the boathouse, and then whatever this office is, and then over here. So yeah, I gotta sort this out. Here's a tool. Ah, it's a saw attached to an alarm box. So I can't move that. Ooh, I've never been up this way before. Aha, there's another one. And it's also connected to an alarm box. There we go. That should make that a little easier. Oh boy, what is this? It's like a container on a floating barge. Oh boy. I think it's possible to move this thing? Maybe I can hook it up to this boat. Maybe. Wow, that was like a really good parking job for me. Uh, let's see if that works. Oh, look at that. Nope. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh, we lost the planks. All right, we can line this up better. All right, less good parking job, but it doesn't matter. Oh, come on. Yep, it's coming. Oh, we gotta be real gentle. Oh, no. All right, two more planks. Let's make this count. Moment of truth. This is painful. Um, hold up. Is this a drawbridge? Can I actually raise this bridge? Oh, are you kidding me? Was this always here? This whole time, I just could have raised the drawbridge. That is crazy. Oh, okay, now I'm, I'm way up here. All right, slow and steady it is. Can't believe I didn't know about that bridge. 
And don't mind me, I'm just coming through with the barge. And I can't turn, so if one of us has to move, it's not gonna be me. There we go. Alright, hold on. Maybe I should have done this first. Hey, there we go. And it's just parked right next door. Sweet! That'll probably be the last thing that I grab then. Alright, what else do we got here? Something in this warehouse, I think. Yep, here it is. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I can just grab it from underneath. Maybe just make a little hole for myself. Easy peasy. Ah, don't mind me. Just taking off a gate. There we go. Alright, don't quote me on it yet, but I think a plan is forming in my mind. Yep, I think this is gonna work. Oh, I've never been in this building before. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hmm. Now here's a question. That looks like a big propane tank. Do you think... Oh, it is a big propane tank. Wow. That was nuts. But it gives me an idea. Ah, so strong. And the dumpster with you. Huh. Look at that. It's right there. Oh, it's right there. Okay, the question is, can I gently move this, like, right there? Oh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, that might be it. That might be it. Yes, I think that's it. And then, oh boy. Uh, I am not super excited about this, but let's give it a shot. Actually, this might be a great opportunity to use some of our bombs. Yeah! Fire in the hole! Hey, that might work. Gotta bring the bridge back down. Now, what's a fast way I can get up there? I'm all out of planks. Maybe... Can I make my own ramp? Ah, oh, it's so close. Come on, picnic table, I believe in you. <gasps> Is that it? <gasps> Yo, no way! That actually works! Yes! Oh yeah, it's like a racing stripe. Ooh, I wonder if we could do it again. Oh man, this might actually work. Ooh, this might actually work. Ooh, here we go, picnic table-ception. Oh, that's so close. <gasps> oh, is that it? No way this actually works. Oh, <laughs> it does. I am a genius. And there's the tool. So the only thing left is to figure out how we get to the very last one. I could just run. That seems like a long hike. Might eat a lot of time. I mean, there's an ice cream truck. You think that'll work? Well, that got a little confusing, but I'll understand what that means. Okay, I think we've got a good plan, except I don't trust that van to make this little off-road access here. But there was this guy. This looks much more ready to handle off-roading. So I'm gonna swap out some vehicles. There you go, can't miss it now. Okay, honestly, I think I've got a pretty good plan here. Just gotta make it happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, prepare to see the magic happen in three, two, one, go! Into the van and we're driving forward. We're gonna turn it in here. Whoa, that's a wide turn. Hop on out, grab this box, get in this cool Jeep. A little bit of off-roading, we're going up first, then we're turning in, yep, yep, yep. Whoa, careful there, stop. Grab this box. Here we go, more off-road. Ooh, okay, we made it. Could've been worse. We just gotta go here and bail. Up, up, up we go. Oh, I'm so proud of that. Oh, I'm stuck. Grab it. Go, 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 go. Come on, we still got time. Into the ice cream van. Oh, we're gonna be close. Here we go. Come on, van, don't fail me now. 
Six, five, four, three, two, get in! Yeah! Insurance fraud, insurance fraud. Everyone loves insurance fraud. Hey guys, I am back, and I am back here at Gordon Wu's place. And thankfully no one is home, because I am here to steal some cars. Because who doesn't love helping billionaires commit fraud, am I right? There's one of the cars right there, and it is on an alarm. I suspect all of these cars will be on alarms. Oh, what's this? Oh, a fancy trophy. Don't mind if I do. You know, this might be the perfect job for our new little gun. Yeah. Yeah. And perfect. All right. So this guy is on the ground, ready to go. Here's another one of our cars, but this one is going to be a little trickier. Hmm. I reckon the easy way is just going to be to drive it right through here, through that garage door. My truck's right on the other side. Yeah, there we go. That should work. And what are you looking at, you bush? <laughs> What's that saying about lipstick on a hippo? No, it's lipstick on a pig. Well, this is spray paint on a hippo. And looks like we got another car right over here, a truck. I didn't know Gordon Wu was into trucks, but this one is also on an alarm. Oh my, look at this one. It's missing wheels and it's hooked up to this thing. Interesting, does this thing move? Ah, yes, this one can move, okay. So we just gotta do a little Oh, oh, this might work. In fact, I wonder if I can't just sort of scoop this thing up. Nope. All right, we just gotta be real delicate here. Can this thing move at all? Oh, oh, careful with the alarm. Ooh, ooh, gentle, gentle. Uh, come on, move it. A eh. little more, a little more. There we go, that's not going anywhere. All right, so we got another one. Wait, I could just drive this over to the truck right now. Oh boy. We are back heavy. Insurance fraud, insurance fraud. Everyone loves some insurance fraud. All right, I'm gonna call that good. And fire in the hole. All right, we still got a couple of cars to find. What in the world? What the? Oh no. What? Seriously? Okay, wait, 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 wait. The car is strapped to this metal plate, but the alarm is also on the metal plate. And the metal plate is strapped to the roof. So maybe. Yeah, there we go. Maybe we can move this. Oh, wow, that is heavy. Ooh. <sighs> nope, nope, I am not strong enough for that. But in theory, since this is no longer connected to the roof, it can move. I'm just not strong enough. Oh, hello. Now, in theory, this will work. The question is, will the theory hold true? All right, nice and gentle. And crap. All right, moment of truth. Ready, set, lift. <gasps> no way it works. Oh, that is awesome. So I can just drive this thing back to the truck. It's got to be real gentle. Well, this is one of the stranger heights I've done. Gentle, gentle, watch the trees. Okay, this setup is getting weird. Now there's supposed to be one more car over here. What in the, is that a window? That's the biggest window I've ever seen. 
Uh, where's the expensive car I'm supposed to be stealing? Wait, it's above me? Oh my gosh, they're using the car as a video game simulator. What? Oh, that's what the window was removed for. Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to get this thing out of here? Woo, you did not make this easy for me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The alarm is attached to this server and the server moves. Oh, which means yeah, I can take the server with me yeah, if I get it up on the car. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Be strong, Dan. Be strong. Yeah. Yes. Wu asked me to be gentle, but you know what? This is the only way. I might even, like, strap it down. Just to make sure it doesn't come off, you know? Nice. Okay. Now what? Am I driving it out the window? That doesn't seem smart. Hold on a second. Aha. Oh, broke the glass. Okay, I've got the plan. All right, now for the tricky part. And once again, the most remarkable physics on display. All right, this is either stupid or crazy. Ah! Oh, 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 it worked! And it's still attached, look at that, okay. This is definitely one of the stranger heists I've ever committed. This reminds me of moving day back in college. I don't think we're gonna get much readier than this. On your mark, get set, go! Doing the truck first. Whoa, okay, I did not expect that. It's all right, it's all right, we can recover. Watch out, watch out. Turn it in, yeah, there you go. All right, we're gonna take it in and bail. Here we go. Next up, the race car. Uh-huh, all right, gentle, gentle, yeah. Straight in, baby. Oh, we almost took out this car by accident. All right, here comes the classic. Through the hole. Oh, this is beautiful. Yes. All right. Oh my gosh, this is working. It's working. Lower that. In it goes. And uh oh, last but not least. Drive it in, drive it in, drive it in. Yes, get in the truck. Insurance fraud, insurance fraud. Who doesn't love insurance fraud? Yeah. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the peaceful island getaway that is Hollow Rock Island. I'm here for Detective Turdeman to once again steal computers, but she has said that this will be the last favor. So there's computers up here, a couple laptops to grab. Okay. But of course, I'm guessing all of these will be on alarms. So let's see what we got. Okay, that's locked. Haha, -ha, good thing I'm skinny. So this is where they make some kind of energy drink? Weird. Oh ho, don't mind if I do. Aha, the first laptop. Okay. Aha, okay. More locked doors. Yeah, not these computers. Ugh, what is this? Oh crap! Oh my, what? This is what they're putting in sodas? Holy crap! Oh my gosh, that blew a hole in the wall and the floor. That was crazy. Aha, here's the computer we need, okay. Phew! Wow. This place is huge. Locked door, no problem. Well, maybe a slight problem. There you go. Mmm, well that sucks. Okay, so I think I figured out this area. 
Just gotta figure out what's going on over here. Wow, Hollow Rock is a good name for this place. This is wild. And what are these super secret doors? Let me in! I said, let me in! Whoa, look at this place. Cool. Whoa. Fish? Be free. Nope. Pretty sure that fish is already dead. Just for funsies. Ha ha ha. Oh, look at that smoke. Oh. Chess. Chess, I think I will. Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. I think we're going to want to go out this way. Eh. Whoa. Uh-ho. Sure, I'll haul a vacuum cleaner around with me. That doesn't sound cumbersome at all. Ooh, a vault. Oh, man, I would love to get in there. I don't have time. Oh, there's a toilet. Can't have that. Oh, this must be where the important people sit. Oh-ho. Oh, look, dolphins and stuff. Well, this is just a little too convenient not to do. Fire in the hole! There we go. Ooh, careful. Ah. Man, this island is huge. Yes, please. Oh, crap. The computer's all the way down here? Man, this is going to be tough. Okay, this is a weird idea, but it might just work. Okay, I think the plan is coming together. We just need to make the somewhat unconventional decision to blow a hole in this wall. What the? Who keeps a radio next to the toilet? All right, let's do something a little crazy. Hey, you know what? We might as well have some fun with it. Fire in the hole! Okay, now we just need a boat. Oh look, a boat. I actually think we might have a solid plan here. Just gonna burn these boxes out of the way. Keep tabs on the fire, of course. Nope, 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 nope. Gotta put that out, gotta put it out, gotta put it out. This was a mistake. You don't mess with fire. Fire messes with you. This is pretty intense. Not gonna lie. This was not a wise idea. Come on, extinguisher 9000. Okay. I think we're okay. So the plan is to start here. We'll run out this way, drop down a level, grab that computer, jump through the window, through the wall here, out this window, down the level to that computer, hop in the boat, drive it around here to get this one, run back here, here, and then to the boat. Should be a piece of cake. Ready, set, go! And what I meant was, I'm going to drive this boat around, because this boat is much faster than the other one. Here we go!
Oh, I don't mean to brag, but that was awesome. Oh man, I am a little happy smiley face after that. Oh, I love this show. You can do it. This show gives me half my ideas. Genius. Oh, that swordfish. Ooh, explosives. I know all about that. Well, everybody, it is rainy and nasty again, but I tell you what, this weather can't keep me down. I'm feeling good, but I kind of feel like taking a nap. It has been a long couple of days, so I'm going to tune this off, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, whoever it is that is watching. Man, it is still raining. But looky here, I got a rocket launcher. Look at this thing. Oh man, remember when I was like, oh yes, Zen, be cool. No, we're going big booms now. Oh, I am excited to try this out, but not here in my warehouse. New messages. Of course there's new messages. There's always new messages and it's never good. Remember when I was broke and I didn't get any new messages? Hey, I just got this awesome idea for humiliating Gordon. You know that ridiculous, undersized racetrack he keeps in his backyard to prevent being a race driver? Wouldn't it be funny if he came home to a new track record on that display? You a decent driver by any chance? By the way, those paintings you helped me with earlier, they didn't make it through the thunderstorm. Burned up every single one. What are the odds? My only comfort is that at least Gordon doesn't have them either. Oh, Lee. You are something else, man. Jillian Johnson, I thought we were done. The claims from Gordon keep coming in. I'm not new to this game and suspect he's trying to pull a trick on us. I think the best solution would be if he took his problems elsewhere. If I could just get rid of his insurance papers, poof, like that, he'd be gone. He keeps the papers in one of his safes, top of the line Quilla's safes, very sturdy and virtually unbreakable. Trust me, he bought them on our recommendation, but they have one weakness, not waterproof. Go to Gordon's place and dump his safes in water. That should smudge up the papers. Just one thing you should be aware of, the safes are equipped with moisture sensor alarms that will trigger when wet. Oh, come on. It's a good thing none of these people ever sit down together and compare notes on their fixer because otherwise I would be in trouble. Because somehow they haven't figured out that they're all using the same guy to screw each other over. All right, two trips over to Gordon's villa. You'd think I could do both at the same time, but no. So I guess I'll see you guys over there. All right, we're doing the most important thing first. We're going to get rid of these documents on behalf of the insurance company of Gordon Wu, who I already defrauded and now they're asking me to defraud him. It's all complicated. And there are a lot of safes. One, two, three, four, five, six, one all the way down here. Oh man, this is gonna be tricky. I gotta dump them in the water, but they have sensors in them that will detect water, which means the alarm's gonna go off. Also, it is raining, which means if I drag them outside, I bet the alarm is gonna go off. So this is gonna take some serious setup, I think. All right, going up. Oh, no, no, the, I left the, open the door. I didn't, oh, what's this? <gasps> A stash of emergency cash. No way, under the elevator. <laughs> oh, rich people. Uh-huh, here's one of the safes. And it looks really heavy. Yep, that's not gonna, oh, okay. Wonder if we could blast it through the floor, get it down to ground level. Before we do that, let's scope out the rest of them. Ooh, there's a pool down here. I could drop it right here. Oh, and another pool over here. Interesting. There's another safe right there. That one looks smaller. Oh, yeah. Much smaller. I wonder if I can... Look at that. Okay, it's still really heavy, but at least I can move this one. Good. Maybe take this one out there to that pool, or maybe put it on one of these cars. It's still going to get wet if I take it outside, though. Oh, hello. Oh, no way, a big old truck, and it's covered. Can I open the back? I, open. Okay, that's one way to do it. Nice, yeah, I could put it in here, then drive the truck off into the water. That is a good idea. Beep, 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 beep. 
Okay, except the garage door won't stay open unless the car is in motion, so let me knock this guy out. There we go. One big piece. All right, how strong am I? Uh, come on! Uh, okay. Uh, get up there. Yes! Oh, yes! Okay. Let's put it all the way at the front to keep it safe and dry. Yes, that is perfect. Oh, that's gonna work. Aha, here's another small one. Okay. Now, maybe I can bring the truck around over here. Oh, look at this. Look at this, another truck, a flatbed. I mean, it's raining, but you know, we might be able to work around that actually. Oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. Now, I can easily put this up on the truck. The problem is it's gonna get rained on, but maybe that's not such a big problem. There we go, a nice flat piece that I can use to cover the truck. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, like that, like that. Yeah, something like that. Although it would be nice if I could attach this back here. I wonder if that's possible. Maybe I can slide this guy in the hole. Is it too big? I think it's too big. Ooh, careful. Oh, yes! Yes! Okay, now I just gotta like secure this so that it won't move. Okay, I now have not one, but two covered trucks. I am a genius. Look at that. It's not getting rained on. I am a genius. Now there's one in here, right? Oh uh, yes, there it is. Um, I mean the water's right there. I could just blow it into the water or I could try to put it on the truck. Uh, where is the truck? There's the truck. Uh, I gotta get it out of here without getting wet though. All right, here's the plan. Step one, fire in the hole. No! That was not where I wanted the hole. But you know what, I'll take it. Step two, we gotta pull the truck around to be in a good spot. And step three, we drop this guy down and carry him over to the truck. Now, there's a little bit of a gap, so hopefully it doesn't get wet enough to do anything bad. We're just gonna... There we go. Is it good? I think it's good. Scoot it on in. Should probably try to secure these just a little bit. All right, look at that. We're doing it. We'll pick up another safe. Aha, a safe. Another small one. Easy pickings. And same as before, just, yep. Perfect, didn't even detect the rain. This is going so well. Honestly, I'm, I'm shocked. I bet I could fit at least one more on there if I wanted to. What's this one over here? Let's go check it out. Except we've got some trees in the way. Might need to clear these out so we don't lose our roof. You know what, instead of knocking out the branches, why don't I just, eh. And then, oh, yep, that way, into the water. Oh yeah, that is much easier. And that's why they call me Demolition Danny. Tear down expert. Also does landscaping, apparently. Ooh, this one's a little tricky. It's possible I made it worse and not better here. Crap, I did make it worse. What a mess. All right, I still tore it down. I just did it the long and terrible way. All right, I think that's close enough that we can just... Uh, yeah, all right. That's fine, that's fine. Ah, there we go. Nothing that I... Oh my gosh, it broke my windshield. All right, let's go find this uh, safe. There's a car. There's a safe. Look at that. Uh-huh. So the problem is, yeah, that is not an easy access out to the truck. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that on the other side of this wall is that garage. 
Stand clear. Oh yeah. If I can take out a couple more trees, I can pull this truck up right to the garage. How do I make sure this falls the right way? Wait, I've got these cables I've never tried. You think that'll work? Be like, ah. So then, yeah. Oh, actually, that sort of does work, doesn't it? You just gotta pull the top down. Eh. Yeah, 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 there it goes. Nope, keep going, keep going. Why are you stopping? Eh. Eh. Come on, pull it. Yeah. Oh, come on. You can do it, I believe in you. I don't wanna have to tear down an entire tree again. Maybe if I take off some of the back weight. Oh, it's going! Yes! Watch out for my boat. That was awesome! I am like literally a genius. It pays to be strong. Let's go real gentle like. Nope, nope, nope. Woo! Do you hear that beeping? That was a close one. There we go. It's on the truck. Okay, we've got four safes ready to be driven off into the water. I would say that is pretty impressive right there. All right, so when the time is right, we just back that right off the cliff. We got two more to find though. Oh no, wait, we only got one more to find. It's that one in the top level. Oh, we could just put that in the other truck. Oh, now we are talking. I am a genius. You know, I'm just realizing this truck is big enough. It probably could have fit all six in one, but whatever. I'm proud of the other truck. Whoa. Okay, so the other one's gonna be, oh, where is it? It's somewhere on the third floor. We might need to drop it down here first. So I think it's in this corner. Oh, there it is, there it is. Um, should we just bomb it out? Oh, there's a second, okay. Um, oh, look out! Okay, now, where are we relative to the truck? There's the truck right there, hmm. All right, here's what I'm thinking. If I can scoot this all the way out here, out here into the hallway, eh, yeah, come on. You gotta be kidding me right now. Move! It's stuck on this. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. Yes. This is a big safe to be keeping paperwork in. Okay, I think we might be there. I mean, that sure looks like it's right over the truck. Let's see. Yep. So all we gotta do is, and yeah, and yep. Oh, come on. There it goes. Yes. Almost! Come on. Just just wiggle in there. Yes! Ooh! And then we gotta just bring you out of the rain this way. A little bit. Yeah, you're not safe here. Gotta keep you out of the rain until we get to the water. Yeah. Okay. Wow, I am exhausted. Just in case. Okay. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're about to do the unthinkable. I hope you guys are ready for the fastest heist ever recorded, because here we go. On your mark, get set, just drive off the cliff. Bye-bye. And drive off the cliff, bye-bye. And go get in the boat. That was so easy. Holy cow, I am good. All right, friends, I'm back here at Gordon's place. Went out and got some food, and thankfully the rain has let up, so turning out to be a nice day. Also, apparently the rain water had mixed with some, I don't know, sawdust or something that had gotten all gunked up in the filter of my microphone on my little recorder here, so 
Sorry if that sounded weird last time. Should be back to normal. And now I'm supposed to come over here to this little racetrack and embarrass Gordon by beating his record, which I don't know if I'll be able to do, but I'm gonna try. The track record is 30.31 seconds, and I have no idea if I can beat that or not. But I'm gonna go borrow one of Gordon's race cars and we're gonna find out. At the very least, this will be a lot of fun because these cars are fast. Woo! Oh, okay. A little too fast there, Dan. All right, how about first we do like a test lap? You know, not going for any records, just seeing what we're up against here. Whoa, that's a tight turn. Okay, wow. Yep, yep. Oh, another tight turn. Wow. All right, this is going to be tricky. Oh, this car is so squealy. Woo! It's fast, though. All right, and then weaving through here. All right, and then a big turn around. All right, there we go. I think we could do that. I think that works. Oh, oh, wait, wait. I just did the course backwards. Uh, okay, close enough, it'll work. All right, all right, this time it's for real. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. All right, just don't crash, Dan. Just don't crash. Whoa, okay. Here we go. We're going, we're going, we're going. We're weaving in and out. We're going fast, but not too fast. We're gonna take it. Oh, oh, watch out. Here's the sharp turns. Oh, okay. Well, that was not very good. Uh, okay. And. Uh, <clears throat> what? Hold up. Apparently, Gordon is like the worst driver in existence because that was a terrible lap and I just obliterated his record. I bet I could do better. I'm gonna try it. We're going again. Get ready. I'm gonna push for under 25 seconds. Go! Gotta be a little more aggressive this time. No, that might have been too aggressive. All right, all right, pull it back. Weave it in. There we go. Okay, okay, that's not so bad. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Don't spin out. Okay, maybe now spin out. Woohoo! Go, 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 go! And no, oh, new record, but I didn't get under 25. I think I can. I just gotta drive a little bit smarter. Here we go. Go! Okay, I keep going too wide there. Yeah, that was nice, that was nice. Oh no, oh no, we're busting the car. Go, yes. Oh, mama mia, that's some damage. Got me the record though. And there's still a second race car over there. Now I've already thoroughly embarrassed Gordon. Twice! So this is just going for personal best, just for funsies. So close, I can't seem to beat it. Hey, where's that green sports car? I think it's pretty fast. Oh, 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 here it is. Let's take this bad boy for a spin. Maybe this one will get us a new record, huh? Three, two, one, go! Whoa, he's fast. He's very squirrely. Here we go. Cutting it in, whoa. Oh man, we are going real fast. We are going real fast, real fast, ah! Okay, yep, nope, not so much on that, I guess. And uh, hey, Gordon, happy birthday. <laughs> All right, that's good enough for me. I'm out of here. 
See you later, Gordon. Ah, uh, yes. The world is always so peaceful after the rain has passed. Not to mention, I pulled off a successful heist and did some racing. Overall, it's been a pretty great day. Mix. Blend. Ha. Huh. Expensive. Food processor. Ha. Huh. Is it just me, or are ads getting weirder? Oh, breaking news. Let's see. Was it me? Look at that. There has been yet another break-in in Lockell County. We did it again. Oh boy, more mail. One from Gordon, but also one from Anton? What do you want? Hey, are you available for a job? I've been talking to the folks at Advertise about replacing the food court with a new parking garage. I really want that job, and if the food court, you know, disappeared, it might speed up their decision-making process. Oh, jeez. I was thinking, tonight, while everyone's focused on the Lockell Parade fireworks, would be a great opportunity to do something about that building. What? The Lockell Home Guard have been using the mall parking lot as a staging area before and after the parade. You might find something useful there. Hold on. This guy wants me to use military equipment to demolish a food court? That sounds awesome. That's like every demolition expert's dream. I mean, yeah, it's illegal too, but hey, we've crossed weirder lines before. Okay, tonight we gotta do that. Hold on, what does Gordon want? That little brat hit me again. You wouldn't believe the mess I came home to. It's gonna take weeks to clean up and the insurance company won't even pick up the phone. I've had it with Lee. It's time to show him not to mess with the big boys. The chemical plant is Lee's life, and I'm going to put it out of operation. The power plant is the heart of the whole facility, and I want it gone. Oh, no. It's a sturdy beast, but I'll provide you with proper firepower to take out the main generator for good. Also take out all auxiliary power, and the plant will be shut for a long, long time. Oh, man, all these people offering me these great demolition jobs. I was just getting used to being a heist guy, and now I'm back to blowing stuff up. Okay, but this one's gonna have to wait because I need to go to the Advertise Mall tonight or this opportunity is gonna pass up. And I can't pass up an opportunity to use military-grade equipment again. Even if it is for less than legal purposes. Look, I'm already in way deep over my head. A little bit extra demolition isn't gonna hurt anybody. Except the food court. But food courts don't have feelings, so I'll see you guys over there. Ah, yes, I must prepare carefully, then rest in the van until the parade has started. The military parade. Speaking of military, where's the military stuff? This looks like military stuff. Yo, look at this. This takes me back to my old times. Ooh, I can drive a tank. And here we are in the food court. Okay, so, aha. Uh -huh. Careful not to damage the food court before the fireworks start. Yep, sorry, it's just force of habit. Hmm, okay, the food court is big, but I think this is doable. And the mall. Wow, it's empty in here. Wait a minute, there's a playground on the roof? What if some kid, like, goes down the slide and just, woo, off the ledge? That doesn't seem very safe. Oh my gosh, look at this. Is this supposed to be art? This art is terrible. I could make something that looks better with an explosion, which I will. Wow, sorry. Ooh, limited edition video game hoodie. I wonder where else you could get a limited edition video game hoodie. Like that seems very uncommon, no? Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe there's like stores where you could just go online and buy a video game hoodie that doesn't cost $200, but I'll take this one. I could probably buy like a bunch of hoodies with that much money somewhere else. Oh man, I always wanted to do this. Blue Tide. I was recently at your island, Blue Tide. Oh, ha, ha, truffle juice. Mine now. What am I doing here? I'm supposed to be scouting out the food court and or this cool stage. Whoa, a Rolf FX effects pedal. Dude, look at this. Oh, sorry, sorry, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Nope, okay, okay. Well, now I just gotta go all in. 
Bum bum ka bum bum ka bum bum ka screaming into the microphone. And that was the bassist name. Nobody cares about the bassist. All right. Well, obviously our best bet is gonna be a couple of these tanks. Although, what's this? Oh, another rocket launcher. That could work. <gasps> no way. No way. Is that a minigun? Oh. Okay. I think we've got our strategy. Just in case, though, let's try to make things interesting. There. If nothing else, that'll add to the fireworks. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I am so excited right now. Oh, look. Look, this one's got rockets on top. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just going to take you over here. All right. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. Time to wait for the parade to start. Whoop, whoop. All right, ladies and gents, it's go time. It is show time. The fireworks are going off. First things first. Whoa, that was a big one. Okay, we're getting into the rocket truck and we're doing it off. No way. That is awesome. Oh, I am in heaven. Oh, we're out of rockets. Into the tanks. Oh, gosh, wow. Holy cow. I'm driving it in there. Woo. Get to the next tank. Go, go, go. Here we go. Yes, baby. Yes. Yes. Crushing it. Okay. Rocket launcher time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yes. This feels so good. Quick. We need more ammo. So much demolition. Woo. Oh, yes. I'm in love. I'm in love with destruction again. Yeah, this is awesome! All right, minigun time. What? Look at this! This is insanity! Oh, this is crazy! Oh, this is awesome! This is great! Ah! Oh my goodness gracious! Wow! Wow! I'm loving this! Yo! <laughs> Look at this! Oh, yes! Wow! Ah, I'm a madman! Woohoohoo! Ah, my hands are shaky! Woohoohoo! Okay, quick! Pipe bombs everywhere! And then we gotta get out of here! Time to go! That was awesome! Go, go, go! The helicopter's coming! I'm too fast for you! All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day I am back here at Lee Chemicals and I have brought a very big bomb because things are about to go boom. I brought the bomb in this truck, which is not mine. I borrowed it because even with the wrong branding on my van, I want to make sure that I have no connection to what is going on here today. This this is going to be newsworthy for sure, and I don't want Turdaman or anyone else getting confused and thinking I was involved, even though I am. Maybe I just shouldn't be doing this. Too late for that now! Alright, first things first, we need to scope this place out, because there are a couple of different targets around here. Most importantly, we got to put the bomb over here at the turbines and then blow it up. Then there's like a power station here and a switch gear station here and another one all the way up here. And then there's some like transformers and a diesel generator, another transformer. Those are secondary. I'd like to get those, but the yellow dots, those are the mandatory ones. So we've got our work cut out for us. Ah, there's one of the transformers. Okay. I mean, I could probably just shoot that and it'd be fine. Can't do that yet though, otherwise all the alarms are gonna go off. Oh ho ho, and here we have the switch gear station. Wow, that is much bigger, and that is gonna take a much bigger boom than just a shotgun blast. Hmm. All right, and the escape truck is out there, so I should probably do these two things last. What in the world is going on? Oh, that's right, I blew up the tower. Uh, I had forgotten about that. Wow, they're already rebuilding, huh? 
All right, there's another transformer. And right in here, aha, there is the diesel generator. This thing's portable. Do you think I can move it? Yeah, I think so. Not sure where I want to move it to yet, but at least out of that room. Hmm, and the other switchgear station is all the way over here, inside this building. Huh, uh-huh, and another transformer up there. How did I never notice that this or that building were over here? Aha, okay. So this is yeah, the part that we have to blow up. We gotta bring the big bomb over here. And then we gotta manually set it off. Cause it's a big bomb. You don't want it going off on its own. And then look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is nuts. Ooh. Yeah, that looks extremely delicate. So delicate, I probably don't have to be right here to blow it up. I could probably be, I don't know, over there somewhere. Okay, I've got some setup to do for sure. Rolling a bomb across the ground, gonna blow something up. Yeah. Hold still, big bomb. Oh boy, don't be rolling back there. Ah. Oh boy. Rolling the bomb up the stairs. Come on. Come on, you stupid bomb. Yes. Okay. Woo! Bomb in place. Okay. Not quite. Not ready yet. Alright, this is a pretty crazy plan, but I think it's actually going to work. A lot of this relies on the rocket launcher, because we're going to start over here at the bomb, then run over here, take out that transformer, and shoot across to the power generator. Run up onto the roof. We're going to take care of the other transformers. We're going to shoot through that building to get to the uh, power switch thingy then run across the roof to shoot through that building to the other generator thingy, and then run across, take out the last ones, jump into the car, and we're out. Kinda crazy. Let's do it. All right, here comes the big boom. I mean, after the timer goes off. Did that on purpose, didn't wanna blow myself up. And we gotta shoot this guy here, and then shoot that guy there. Oh, there's the big boom, and Yes, we got it. All right, keep running, keep running. Up to the top of the roof, jump across, we gotta land on this, perfect, and then ka-chow. Wait for it. Yes, we got it. Oh, this guy. Very good, very good. Get ready and ka -chow. Got it, perfect. Come on, come on, we're almost there. Got it, got it, into the car. Oh, I think this is gonna work. I think it's gonna work. And fail. Woo! Oh, 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 it pays to help rich people do bad things. Look at this. I installed the Skeet Master, which means I can shoot my own clay pigeons. Watch this. Come on, yeah. Oh yeah, yes. Oh, missed one. Yes. Oh, come on. Bring it on. Yeah. I'm a crack shot. Look at that. High score nine. Oh, I'm a pro. And look at this one. Look, look, look. Targets. Targets popping out. I can sit here and do target practice. Look at this. Got it. Nope. Oh, missed it. Oh, missed him. Okay, this one's harder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you get the point. This is so much fun. Uh, man, money solves a lot of problems. Like, look at this. I bought a leaf blower. 
It's not even for the yard. I'm taking it to job sites if I need to like clear rubble. Wow, that's loud. My uh, tool belt's getting pretty heavy here. I got like shotguns and rocket launchers and a fully loaded blowtorch, but I can handle it. I'm strong. Yeah, yeah, see, look at that. This is like an ultra powerful leaf blower. So anyway, let's see what's new in the big wide world. Oh no, Jillian Johnson. I must say, I'm very happy with our fruitful collaboration. I'd like to suggest we deepen our relationship with something we call motivational reminders. It's a marketing technique that we sometimes employ for key customers. I recently had a meeting with Mr. Amatides, Amanatides, about the policy for Blue Tide Inc. Wait, I know them. They're on Hollow Rock, right? He's hesitating to include his propane tanks in the policy, and I think a friendly reminder on why that is a good idea could nudge him in the right direction. Oh, Jillian, I see where this is going. Since I don't run Gordon's account anymore, an upsell to Mr. Amanatides would look really pretty on my bonus check. Of course, I'll make sure you are properly compensated and have all expenses covered. Mm-hmm, <laughs> okay, okay, what's this from Gordon? Ha ha, I almost choked on my espresso when I turned on the news. Hilarious, I've been giggling all morning. Turns out that bomb worked even better than I planned. Great work. I told you it would be on the news. Sure enough, look at that. Wow, that's a lot of water. All because of me. And I can't even brag about it. Not that I would, I'd probably go to jail. All right, well, if Jillian Johnson wants us to head to Hollow Rock to blow up some propane tanks, then who am I to say no? Especially if it means I can buy more cool toys like that skeet shooter. All right, I'll see you guys over there. And I made it. We are back at Hollow Rock. Man, this place is cool. And Jillian said I need to like blow up some propane tanks or something. Yeah, oh boy, there are a lot of propane tanks over here. How am I going to get to all of these? Because if I start blowing stuff up, it's going to trigger the alarm. Yeah. Ah, like this. This is one of the tanks. Question. Is it stuck? Oh, no, it can move. Maybe if we very carefully remove it from here. Aha! Nice. Now, gently, gently. All right, so now uh, I can scoot this. But where? Oh, careful, careful, careful. Okay, probably want to move them somewhere central. Maybe I can knock all these out at once. Ooh, that would be cool. Probably over here right next to my getaway boat. Speaking of getaway, what's up with this door? Don't worry, I got a plan for that. Genius, I am a genius. Ooh, that's another option for moving these things. Let's see if this will work. All right, be careful because this is a propane tank and it can explode, but ooh, there we go. I can clamp onto this thing. Uh-huh, there we go. I can just drive this over. Oh, that is swinging all over the place. Ooh, we gotta be careful. All right, where are we heading here? Maybe like down here on the dock. Yeah, like that. That works for me. I don't know if that was actually a time saver, but we're gonna say it was. Aha, there's another one. All right, I don't know if I'm blowing them up here on the docks or loading them onto a boat and taking them somewhere else, but at the very least, I want to group them together. Where's the next one? Oh, it's all the way up there. Okay, now how did I do this last time? Didn't I like break this open? Eh. And maybe I can like, eh, and then do a, eh. Is that gonna work? Come on. Yep. Almost there. Come on. Okay. That worked. Sort of. Okay. How are we going to get up on this roof? Maybe this way. Is there like roof access somewhere? Maybe from the inside. Aha. I bet if we just did a little eh, and then maybe a little eh. Binoculars. Taking them. What's one more thing in my pocket? 
Here we go. This is looking good. So, if I take it uh, to, hmm. Aha, I gotta take it back over there. And that doesn't look that easy, actually. All right, all right, all right. Here's what we're gonna do. See, my escape boat is right there. And there's this big old boat right here. So maybe I'll start loading these tanks up on the boat. Drive the boat around to the dock. There we go. Then we'll all consolidate them on the boat. So we just got to be very careful and figure out how to drop this guy without making him go boom. Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, wait a second. I've got these cables. They stretch. I don't know how far they stretch. Tell you what, let's try this. Let's take it from here and go like there, I guess. And then just see what happens here. Gentle, gentle. There it goes. Ooh, that might work. Is it far enough down though? I can't tell, hold on. Oh boy, that is not touching the ground, but it is close. Is there like something I could move to brace the fall? Like a table? Maybe a couple chairs. Now I know that this does not look like the work of a professional, but I swear, I know what I'm doing. Sort of. All right, moment of truth. Let's cut this cable and see what happens. Oh! Oh! Ooh, it didn't explode! All right! And look at that, we're nearly there. Sort of. Okay, I've got it kinda like wedged in here, but how am I gonna get it down? Uh, maybe another cable. Put it back here. Okay, I might have got it too wedged in there. Seems a little bit stuck. Here we go. Nice. Now we'll just go this way. Oof. I am not liking that drop. Not one bit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I literally caught it as it was falling. Oh, it's a good thing I'm strong. Okay. All right, here we go. Real gentle like. Remember, this will explode. All right, nice. Now, there's another couple right over here. Maybe I can get those while the boat's still parked. Oh, boy. This one is indoors. In a lab. Looks like some kind of substance in these vials. Tell you what, let's free the tank and then experiment with these vials. Because, you know, I gotta know. Oh, whoa! Yes! Yes, they're making explosive stuff. Huh. Interestingly, though, this might be the best way to get the tank out of here. Because if we can just lower it this way... Genius! I'm a genius! Ho, 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 ho! All right, well, that wasn't too bad. And look at that. Two propane tanks loaded up. Time to go pick up some more. All right, and apparently there's one right over here on this dock. Aha. Oh, aha. All right, real genteel. Gonna carry this over to my boat. Yes, we are three deep over here. Nice. All right, and there's one here, and one here, and one here. Rather convenient of them to leave a detailed map of their locations, wouldn't you say? Oh, okay. You know what, that might actually work for us. You're free, propane tank. That is, until I destroy you. Uh-oh, that is not gonna fit through that door. Might need to go ahead and make this doorway a little bigger. All right. I might need to start tying some of these down so they don't roll all over the place and blow up. Oh boy. Apparently there's a propane tank at the top of this lighthouse. Ah yes, the lighthouse. It is indeed lighting. But where is the propane tank? Ah, I see it. There it is. Oh crap. Okay, this one is a little bit smaller than the other ones, which I think will work to my benefit. Okay, here we go. Gentle, gentle, down the stairs. Oh, wow. I'm really surprised that didn't just explode. No, it doesn't fit through the door. Well, we can always make the door bigger. That'll do. All right, this is happening. This is going to be epic. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Our boat is leaning. We might be running out of time. 
Please don't sink, please don't sink. Come on, there's one more in here somewhere. Ah, sure enough, it's down here. Is this another one of those, like, exploding chemicals things? Nope, just regular chemical things. All right, once we get this loaded up, the last two are over there on the docks, and then we're done. All right, just slow and steady up the stairs. And onto our precariously leaning boat. Probably doesn't help that we're loading all these heavy tanks onto it. All right, just hang in there, Bodie. We're almost there. There's the last two propane tanks. Oh, we are taking on water. This boat is about to be no longer afloat. You just got to hang in there a minute longer, Bodie. We got them all. They're all here. Now, can I get the boat? around this corner so we can get out of here safely. You know what, it might make for a better show to leave it out here. Wow, that is a lot of propane that's about to go up in smokes. <laughs> Mr. Boat, we thank you for your service. Bye-bye. It might have been underwater gas pockets releasing hot gases as a result of the bad weather. Oh, come on. I'm getting too good at my job. They're blaming my work on natural phenomenon. Oh, look at this. It's a rocket booster. What? Did I order this? I don't think I ordered this. What is a rocket booster? Is it some sort of... Oh, something's happening. Whoa! That is... That... Wow. That... All right, are you done? That is cool. Did I order these? I don't think I ordered these. Oh no, is someone sending me fan mail? What's that? You open your doors like a commoner? Let me show you how the professionals do it. Dun 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 dun. Oh, that's cool, man. That is pretty cool. Turdman, what do you want? I thought we were done. I've been going through the Blue Tides computers and I think I'm onto something. This might actually be bigger than I first thought and goes way deeper than just Lee. Blue Tide is controlled by someone called Mr. Amanatides, but there are no official records on him. Like he didn't exist. A lot of information is deleted from the computers, but I remember seeing satellite dishes on some of the buildings and got this idea to hack them and download the communication data directly. I know I said before there wouldn't be any more favors, but this really is the last one. I trusted you the last time you said that, Turdeman. By the way, it seems they didn't appreciate our last visit because Blue Tide just filed a security report for an armed guard helicopter. Be safe. Harissa, you want me to go to Hollow Rock Island? I was just at Hollow Rock Island. What? <sighs> Harissa, you're killing me. I don't want to do your dirty work anymore. I just want to sit and play with my rocket boosters, okay? All right, if this works, I'll do the job. If it doesn't work, I won't. Holy crap, it works. Oh, no! Ah, oh, crap. Now I gotta fix that. And also, guess I'm headed back to Hollow Rock Island. Okay, I'm back. But this time I'm supposed to be hacking satellite dishes or something. And Parissa said there's some new helicopter security, so gotta keep an eye on the sky. Holy crap, that's a lot of things to hack. Ah, oh, great. Now there's something beeping over here. Is this the sort of thing I'm looking for? Aha, hack it. That is a terrible sound. All right, one down. What is that? What is that sound? Oh, I hear the helicopter. Gotta hide from that. Excuse me. There's one right there. Ah, there's the helicopter. Hello, Mr. Helicopter, don't mind me. Just trying to hack some devices. He's over there. So I gotta be a little bit sneaky. Where is this thing? Aha! Yeah. Come here! Hacking! Aha! You don't see me, cause I'm in here. Oh gosh! Oh, what the? Oh! What was that? The helicopter shot at me! Oh, this just got real. This just got really, really real. Oh no, how do I get to all the different things when the helicopter's outside? Oh, this is gonna take some doing. I thought this was an easy job. Ah, watch out for the windows. Okay, whoo, where are we? Okay, I gotta get across this courtyard without getting spotted. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. 
He sees me. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hide. Just, just hide. Wait for it to be over. Okay. Somehow, I gotta get down there without getting shot by that helicopter. What if I, like, distract the helicopter? Like, what if I do one of these? Oh, he's looking! He's looking the other way! Go, 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 go! Hack it, hack it, hack it, hack it! Quick! Oh, no! Run! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That was close. That was really, really close. Okay. Woo. Good thing this island is, in fact, a hollow rock. I think I might be safe in here. Although he's shooting rockets? Oh, how do I get up there? How am I getting up there? Aha! Stairs! Stairs will work. Stairs are good. Oh! Lights out, lights out. Where am I? How close am I? Oh, jeez! He sees me! Oh, my... Holy crap! Okay, this is intense. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna throw it that away. All right, he's moving out. He's moving out. Now's my chance. He sees me. Open the door. Oh, he opened it for me. Wow, that distraction did not work nearly well enough. Oh, wow, this whole place is on fire. Great, great. That's exactly what I need. Okay, somehow I have to get over towards the fire. And right, how about a rocket? You think he'd like to see a rocket? Oh no, run! Run, 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 run! Okay, we are in a state. I guess now is not the time to be turning on my flashlight. Oh, here it is, okay. We got that one. Okay, all of the other targets are way over here. So somehow I got a distract copter long enough for me to run out here. This is gonna be tough. All right, ready? Rockets away. Go, 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 go. Very sneaky like. Eh. Yes, yes, we're doing it. We're doing it. Where am I going? In this building for sure. Okay, hi. What? How am I supposed to get up there? Let's do this one first. He sees me. Okay. We're just gonna be very. Nope. That's a problem. Go. Oh, follow through the floor. Okay. That is one way to do it. How am I supposed to get up there? Whoa, helicopter. Watch where you're going. Oh, he is all over me and exactly where I want to go. Oh, there's the dish right there. Don't see me, don't see me! Just like I'm in an action movie! Ah! Run! Okay, we're inside, we're okay. Don't let him see me. Come on, hack it. There we go. We got it, we got it. Oh my gosh, there's one out there in the greenhouse. Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't like that. And of course he is right there. Go, go, go. Oh no, we're in trouble. Big trouble. Big doo doo. Okay. Whoo! He's shooting rockets now. Okay, the good news is I'm alive. The bad news is I did not hack the terminal. But now I can. <laughs> okay, we're getting close. There's one in this blue warehouse. Okay, okay, he can't see me in here at least. Where is this thing? Yes, okay. Am I supposed to take the tower down? What is this? Here's what I think. We should try to blow this up. There, there, it's doing it, it's doing it. Oh, it's so close. It is so close to falling. Problem is the helicopter is looking right at me. And I missed. Complete whiff. Last rocket. Yes. Yes, it's coming down right towards me. Almost. Come on, you. Oh. 
Got a little too cocky there. Oh, there we go. I think that did it. Something is on fire. The roof is on fire. The roof. The roof is on fire. All right, I'm going to distract him. Nope, he still sees me. He's looking that way. Go. Hide. Ooh. Oh, we did it. I mean, we sort of did it. We still have to get out of here. My boat is all the way back here. Okay, time to be brave, Dan. Hiding, we are hiding, we are hiding. There's stairs right there. Just don't get spotted. He's looking, he's looking. He sees me! Hide, 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 hide. Hide, hide, hide. Hide for a minute, please. He's right on me, don't you see? He's looking, he's looking, he's looking the other way! He sees me! Oh my gosh, we're almost there, we're almost there. Hide, hide, inside. This is not a great place to hide. <laughs> we're so close, the boat's right there. Please, Mr. Helicopter, let me live! Is there anything else I can distract him with? How about this? Go! Yes! Get in the boat! Ah, look at what I've built for myself here. Look at all this work I've done on this place. Welcome back everyone to the vlog. I'm just sitting here on my couch, enjoying all the fruits of my labor. Ooh, fruit. Do I have any fruit in the fridge? Note to self, go to the store for some fruit. And what is this? Vehicle thruster? Did I order that? I don't think I ordered vehicle thrusters. Do I even want to know what this does? I mean, I don't think I can really not know what this does. If you give me something called a vehicle thruster, I feel like you kind of have to use that and figure out what it does. Now, how do I do anything? Do I have to drive it? Whoa! What is that? No! Whoa! Okay, wow. Vehicle thrusters. Okay, I did not order those. Somebody is officially buying me stuff. Oh, great. Now I gotta fix that. I can't decide how alarmed I am that someone is buying me stuff. That means they know who I am and where I live and what I'm doing. That's a little alarming. Tracy, hey mom, best month. It looks like this is gonna be our best month in years this continues we'll finally be able to replace the heating we talked about anyway just wanted to say thanks well done hugs and kisses mom oh you're welcome mom thanks for being my head of sales apparently did i give you that title turdman what the heck i'm still cleaning up the scrapes i got from getting shot at by that helicopter because of you sorry to contact you again i was just going through the satellite data when i heard about the damn break at lee oh no I've been waiting for an opportunity to get a hold of Lee's accounting. It's the last missing piece in my Lee investigation. He has kept it hidden in various places, but right now, the whole place is flooded due to some accident at the power plant. That was me. And he moved everything upstairs. The site is completely empty at the moment, so this is a golden opportunity to get a hold of those documents. Man, I am so tired of one last thing turning into one more last thing. Turdeman wants me to go back to Lee Chemicals specifically because it's flooded to steal his documents. This web is getting webbier. But if it all unravels, then I'm absolutely hosed by basically everyone who I've ever worked for. So, I guess I'm heading back into the flood zone for Detective Turdeman. I'll see you guys there. Wow, look at this place. It really is all flooded. Wow, the power of nature. Oh wait, I did this. Okay, there's a bunch of different documents that I need to steal, but they're all gonna be on alarm boxes, which means we're back into full-blown heist mode again. Let's see what we're dealing with. Well, there's one of the document boxes right there. And can I... Oh, that 
doesn't seem physically possible, but apparently that's how it works. Okay, here's another one. Maybe I can bust a hole in this wall and take this outside too. Oh, I see you down there. Hello. Oh ho ho, this one's on a boat. Well, that'll work. Oh no, there's rocks out this way. Crap. Oh, oh, oh. all right and then this one oh no well shoot I don't know how I'm gonna get this one it's so far out of the way dude look at this oh crap oh boy that's gonna be a tough one too. Oh boy, they put one in here. Why? Ah, look at this. Look at all this. Wow, I made a mess. Oh no. Oh no, this is on a truck and it's all. Oh no. Can this thing even drive? All right, this might be doable actually. Okay, salvageable. Oh boy, maybe. Oh, okay, we've stopped. We have officially stopped. Okay, I need a boat. Oh, look, a boat. Now what is this out here? Some sort of raft? Well that might be exactly what I need. In fact, if we play this smart, we could probably tow this behind this little boat. Yeah, very slowly it is working. Or maybe it's not working. Whoa! Whoa. Well, we'll try something else then. Boy, I'm looking very thin recently. I need to start eating better. Unconventional, and yet, it works. Okay, I've got this whole crazy thing mapped out, except for this box way up here. I just don't know how I'm gonna get to it. Maybe if I figured out a path over there, I could run really fast. Uh, all right, I'm gonna set something up, and if I don't have time for it, then I won't do it. Okay, I don't know if that'll work, but if anything would work, it'll be that. Well, I guess now is as good a time as any. On your mark, get set, go!
the helicopter is chasing me? That's not good. Oh, the bridge is down. That is also not good. Okay, Balin on the boat. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here comes a helicopter. Hide. Oh, he's shooting. He's shooting at me. No, 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 not again, not again, not again. Hide, quick. This is not good. Oh, this guy is pissed. Oh, he's right on me. Where am I even going? Oh, there's a boat. There's a boat all the way down here. Okay, I just gotta get there. And that is not gonna be easy. Oh gosh, this guy's on me like a fly on poop. Okay, there's a car. Do you think I can get into that car? I don't have a choice. Here we go. Come on, little car. Drive, drive, follow the road. Follow the road. There's a train in the road. Whoa, okay, flew out. Here we go, get in. Keep moving, keep moving. What's up here? Oh, the helicopter shooting, that's what's up here. A window, what's out here? There's a little blue car, I'm going for it. Go, 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 little blue car, go. Push through, yeah. Oh, that's water. Nope, that's not good. Ah! That is not good. Come on, get inside, get inside, get inside. Ow, oh, he hit me. This guy is ripping us apart, oh gosh. You know what, I'm tired of this stupid helicopter. Where are you? I'm getting tired of you. Nope, okay, I missed him. You kidding me? This is bad. Come on, what do I see, what do I see? Ooh, a green car. Green car's fast, green car fast. I can take that, I can drive that all the way down the road. Ready, go. Here we go, oh, hot dog truck, oh, statue. That's not good. Drive the fast car into the water. Go away, leave me alone. Oh gosh, that exploded. Who, who, okay, get in the truck. Get in the truck, okay. We can do this, we can do this. We're almost there. Oh, he's on me. He is on me so bad. Ooh, come on. I see the boat. I see the boat. I'm going for it. Go, 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 go. Come on. Yes. There's no way I survived that. There's no way that Lee sent an attack helicopter on me. What is going on? Huh. And that's the sound of my camera dying. Guys, this has gotten too real. I'm in over my head. If you don't hear from me in a while, just please, whatever you do.